my gamers. Yes. Fuck, I'm not ready yet. Oh, uh, hold on. I gotta, I gotta move some stuff. Hold on. Fuck. Uh, I'll keep the dad joke book. I forgot. I want my desk cleared off. Keep this here. I'll keep the dad joke book in case you guys want a little giggle or two. Put that there. Hold on. You guys want some fucking ambiance? Go. Turn some of this shit on. Why not this one too? Look at that. Ah, yes, we have the streamer RGB lights. <sighs> so that my fucking room looks like the set off a of Blade Runner or something. Yeah. How's everybody doing, man? Do you get dressed for stream or is that what you wear every day? Um, no, today is okay. So if I look like I'm, I've, I've dressed a little bit nicer or something, or if I'm wearing something that, you know, you would say like, Hey, this, that guy wouldn't wear that when it's 91 degrees Fahrenheit outside. It's because, um, I wear like, I have like a pair, I have two pairs of bird dog shorts <laughs> and I wear them. Uh, with a different pair of underwear every day, but like after like three days, like my my fucking shorts start smelling like balls. So I just like get my other pair, and then if Abby hasn't done the laundry, I go like fuck. Now I gotta wear like actual pants, and we're at the moment right now where uh, I'm ha I'm wearing actual pants because all my fucking bird dogs are, are uh, they're like they're dirty, they smell too bad. So I got on like fresh. I got on fresh pantalones. Yep, that's the only time you're gonna see me in little fucking little skinny legs. Little skinny leg pants. Yeah. Uh, anyways, you want me to take the pants off, dude? You would not believe what I got on under these. Hold on. How do I show these off? I got on Scooby Doo underwear. How tight are the Scoobs, dude? Scooby snack. These things are fucking tight. I would, uh, I would show you all of it, but that's against T TOS or whatever. How's everybody doing today, dude? I got this, I got this Scooby snack going on in the old pants. Yeah, I imagine everybody's going humana, humana, humana. Probably not. I wish there was one person going humana, just one single person. Even if it's a guy, I don't give a fuck. I just want to be loved. I just want to be wanted. Hold on, let me save that right there. Okay, that's working. But I am going to take that off because that was like the saddest thing I've ever said. If there's like any funny clips that are happening on, on the stream today, I'm going to send them to Shiro to edit. And then if there's like... <laughs> But I am going to go, because I, I love Shiro, dude, and, and, but I don't want him to see me being pathetic. So, like, if there's anything, like, really sad or depressing that I'm saying, I might cut it out and then not send him that clip. <laughs> uh, oh, thank you, Pineapple King. Yeah. The, uh, what was I, get? dude, I was, like, fucking pissed off about something. Oh, here, I'm, I'm going to tell you guys exactly what's up. Okay, so first of all, we're going to be playing, obviously, Tarkov, and uh, and we're going to be doing the same thing we were doing last time. We're like, let's let's figure out a uh, like a strategy. I like doing the five-man with one gun technique. That was fun to me. So I want to, like, last time we went out with, uh, can I fucking pull up a clip on here? How do you do that? I don't, I don't know how I would do that without like just displaying my, my desktop browser or whatever. Hold on, I'm going to see if I can find it. You guys got to see this clip from last time we streamed. Uh, it was, I have it in this folder, I think. It was like the last clip I did is when we're down here. 
Let's see if I can find this thing. Okay. I had the most astounding death in the world that somebody pointed out after I died. And it was... Okay, so we were we we had done uh, the pistol runs, right? We were going out there with the little the little blicky, and we were down in the basement of interchange, and I I just randomly died, and some guy was like, "Dude, you need to like watch that again and see what happened." I'm gonna see if I can just show you guys. Okay, so this is the last stream. Check this out. Yeah, it's way better. Uh-oh. Ready? You see that shit? Let's go back a second. This guy, a bullet ricochets off that guy's pee helmet and cracks me in the face. It was a ricochet off of that guy's helmet. Do you see how badass that is? I, I, some guy was like, dude, you need to watch that again. I didn't even know that was a thing that could happen in this game. That guy's not even wearing a pee helmet. He's wearing the diaper helmet, I think. Yeah, it, it just boing right off of his helmet. It's uh -oh. insane. Can I slow this down? Can you do that? Like playback speed or anything? Video. No, de interlace, video track, disable, view. I want to do like the slowest scrubbing possible. I don't know how to do that on here. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah, I'm not smart enough for that. I just use this for looking at uh, pornography. So VLC, best thing to look at porn with. <laughs> Fantastic. What a, what a hit. What a hit. Yeah, I was, that was a pretty cool clip. Anyways, uh, what was I... Yeah, so this time we're going to do themed runs again, but I don't, uh, I do want to go, let's start out with, uh, let's do something cheap. Let's go back out with the little, the little blicky, the little, little revolver, the Chiapa Rhino. Everybody get one of these and as many bullets as you can get for it. Bring out like 60 probably or something like that. Uh, it doesn't matter the kind because I think it fucking doesn't matter. But I want all five of us to come out with uh, with bullets for this thing. That'd be so badass. You know what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to amp it up a little bit. Let's see. Take the morphine off. What the hell did I just do? I am I need to get a new mouse. I'm having a problem where like my mouse will double click randomly. Not good. Here, I'll put five on there. I'm going to buy another one of these. 8,200. Oh my God. I have to do it manually each time. That's such a pain in the ass. Hold on. I see the chat going. I'll look at it in just a second. There we go. There. So I can hot swap really quickly. Once I run out of bullets for one, I can swap to the other one. Yeah. Uh, is it gamer cheese? Is that what it is? You guys are saying gamer cheese is clogged up in my, my mouse. I honestly, I think my mouse is pretty fucking clean. This thing's had so, Ooh, damn. This thing's got some wear and tear though. The, uh, I, you guys aren't going to make fun of me, but I have a, hold on. I have a G500 or G600 or something. I don't know what this is. It's like one of those MMO mice. You know? And it has all the buttons on the side. And on the other side, you might not be able to see it. You can see it. There's like a slight, completely shiny area. It's where my fingers have rubbed all the texture off the back. I didn't realize this mouse was that old. Yeah. Oh, well. Fucking do up this way. And then back up. There we go. Fuck. Keep hitting the wrong button. That seems too zoomed in. We'll figure this out. It'll be all right. I'll just hit head track. There we go. I don't plan on getting up. I'm just going to head track it for the rest of this. Anyways, so the... Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah. Everybody get their little, their little revolvers ready and we're going to go to, uh, we're going to go somewhere. I don't know where we're going. 
Uh, actually, everybody get their grenades ready too. Let's also bring everybody bring a little grenade just in case. And before we go out, I think I'm gonna start. I, I'm gonna start. Uh, if this thing will ever fucking load. Christ. I want to start some of this here. I'm gonna get some uh, Magnum Buck ready. Because after this, if this is a good run, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna go shotgunning. Everybody, Magnum bucking. But this time, going out with uh, just the. Yeah, you know what? Everybody, take off your your melee weapon. That way, we're just standing. Uh, no, like just hands up, and that's it. And let's go to what's a good map for such tomfoolery? Let's do customs. 10 a.m. We'll ensure the little revolvers too. 2,800 bucks to ensure these bad boys. Let's do it. All right, everybody start throwing their names down. I'm not going woods. If you just kind of, oh, he says it's like a static thing. Dude, it is way too moist in Florida for it to be static. I assure you like this, this problem would happen in the, the middle of winter, but it, hold on, I'm going to try your, he says, br breathe on it a little bit and it'll make it stop double clicking. Sometimes I also think this thing's just been through so many little head clicks that it's dead. All right, Lieutenant Leukemia. He's going to be the first one. He's not in here. I don't know. Everybody, make sure to fucking look for group. I'm just going to start inviting random people. I'm going to get some poor people, too, at the bottom of the list. Oh, he declined my inv invite. Just invite randoms. Oh, there's a lot of people declining. <laughs> There's not as many of, of you guys as I thought in here. Golden God. Let's see if he comes in here. Okay. He was one of us. This guy's got dagger nips. Hell yeah. And he's, he's got the coal pack on. By the way, Big Boner Mike was the only guy to pay attention to the fact that we were coming out all revolvers with like, but put them in your hot bar and put a number on them because everybody else has them like fresh in their hands. So Big Boner Mike, round of applause for you. All right, let's get going. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So anyways, uh, there was something that I was fucking super pissed about and I was going to, oh yeah. Okay. So you guys, have you guys heard of uh Printful? They're like the, they're the people that, that do the drop shipping for my fucking merchandise. Printful has the ability to warehouse stuff. So like if I get things made, I can then send it to them and they'll warehouse it. And when an order's made, they put it in the thing and then they mail it out. Now I would normally do that myself, but you have to have a return address on whatever you mail out. And I don't want you guys to receive item that you purchased and look at it and go like, oh, that's where Sam lives, the return address. So I send it out to Printful and then they, uh, they, every time an order is made, they ship it up. Right. But in order to do that, you have to make like a, uh, you make like a product description and you give them a picture and you go like, this is what you're going to be shipping. Do you, uh, and then they decide whether or not they want to warehouse it. So I got some fucking socks manufactured, some of the most baller socks of all time. And I got them to like. I sent in a thing to warehouse and they have declined it four fucking times because they keep going like, they're like, uh, you need to describe uh, the different variants. Like how many colors does it come in? The different sizes. And I'm like, they're fucking socks, dude. They come in once like a sock, unless you have a freak foot, which if you have a freak foot, then don't fucking buy socks off the internet without trying them on. They fit 90% of all feet like it's they fit from sizes like six 
to like 12 is what it advertises. I wear size 14. They fit me fine. And they come in. There's one color. It's just sock. It's just the color the sock comes in. Like, I don't see the fucking deal. They have declined it so many times. I'm about to call up these fucking people. They don't live that far away from me. They're just two states up. I could drive up there and just fucking get them by the collar and yell at them face to face. But, uh, yeah, I got a huge feet. You know what they say about guys with big feet? They have very expensive and uncolorful shoes. That's what they say about them. You ever go to a website and it's like, like if you go to Nike or whatever, or any website, fucking Adidas is, is like this. They'll have like a shoe and, and you'll be like, whoa, look at all those colors. Those look great. And then you go like uh, sizes and you select 14. Or so, I can sometimes squeeze into a 13. I'll select 13. 90% of the colors go away. They're like, yeah, oh, 13? You can get those in black or white. Those are your, <laughs> those are your options, black or white. That's what you got. And like I, right now I have on uh, some Onitsukas. And I, fuck, it's tracking on me. Hold on. I wanted to get them in the fucking, these are the shoes from Kill Bill. Remember the ones that uh, Uma Thurman's wearing? I wanted to get the Uma Thurman ones, bright yellow with black. That's what I wanted. I go there. As soon as you get to size 10, no more yellow, no more fucking yellow. It's just black and white, baby. That's what you got. And so now I have a pair of these. And then the second most colorful one I could get is a pair of fucking white leather ones. Hold on. I'm going to go get those because they really piss me off. The second most colorful one I could get is these that look like fucking bowling shoes. That's what I got in size 14. It's a, it's a, it's a goddamn, it's a wasteland out there. I want some cool shoes and they won't, they won't let me have them. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, let's, let's get, going. <laughs> let's get going. Uh, hello. Gamers. Hey, what's up? You guys can hear me, right? No. Okay. Yeah, awesome. I kind of didn't follow the rules. So yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Wait, what the hell, dude? You brought a gun? No, I put it away. I put it away. Well, when we go to have a fight, you're not going to, like, pull that out, are you? Oh, uh, no, 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 no. Well, where's your... Do you have a revolver? Yeah, yeah. I just got a uh, key bind it. Hang on. Yeah, key bind it. I want to... I want you to prove the revolver. Oh, look at this dude's arm. I'm about to fucking gun this guy down if he doesn't have a revolver. Okay. Yeah, pull that bitch out. And did, did you insure your assault rifle? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, let's go hide in a bush. Come get on. Rid of it. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta get rid of it. We gotta get rid of the evidence. This guy, this guy gets Those fucked the up the whole thing. I already dropped it. Let's go. Oh, sweet. All right, let's do it. Where you guys want to go first? Let's go to, let's go to the big red. See if there's anybody here. Style points. See that over the staircase? Big red gaming, let's go. Fuck oh, yeah. All right. Got my part two here. Make sure that one's loaded. Brothers help. Yep. I brought the wrong game. Oh, Jesus Christ! I think there's an actual guy here. He's got an SMG. I got nades. Oh, there, that's him. Nades, nades. Nade him. Right under it, right under it. Look at that. He's dead. He's dead. Awesome. <laughs> Nicely done, fellas. Yeah, Nicely man, done. Fucking nerd. Bitch. Who got him? Damn. Excellently done. You guys Yo, made me him. proud. I Hell yeah. Him. Loot him, man. Get it all. 
Yeah, someone wanna drop me some Hey, does someone have any ammo? I can't afford any more. I only got one knife. Uh, everybody remember to put their gun on double action. Very important. Hit B to make it shoot twice as fast. I did not realize that was a thing. A I forgot. Couple rounds here. Uh, okay. I, I, I was. I told you guys to bring sixty. Hold on. Let's come in here and, and I'll give you some. All right. Uh. Oh my, I didn't bring that many either. Not good. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, there's like 20 in there. And now I'm left with like 20 bullets. So whoever needed the rounds, go ahead and grab some. Thank you. Let's go. It's not my fault. I can't afford them. That sucks so bad at the game. I can't afford shit. You can't afford. You can't afford some of the cheapest bullets in the game. This is astounding. That is, well, I you. I thought you were so just hard. coming out as a joke, really poor. But that it, you might be the poorest person I've seen in this game. All right, we'll, Bro, we'll make I, sure to I'm, get I'm you some stuff. I'm come on. Exit camping. I suck so fucking hard. Yeah. Come on, we'll come up here and get you something. That guy is so poor. He can't afford like. Oh shit! Anybody have the key to this? Now my key. You got the key? Anybody have the key up here for the Tarcone director? That's nah, fine. Did I uh? Did I kill a scab or did I just kill a, one of us? I killed a scab, I think. All right. Just as a pistol. I fucking folded that guy, man. He fell like, have you ever seen those like, uh, there's a subreddit. I don't know if you can talk about this, but there's a, there's a subreddit called like r slash robbers getting fucked. And all it is, is like, you know, robbers getting fucked. It's, it's people trying to rob places and then they end up getting dropped by the people that own the store for the most part. And, uh, let, let's head on across the river. Come on. And, uh, there's so many where, like, the, the robber gets, like, shot in the gut. Where's he at? Oh, shit. Ooh! I think I might have just clipped him in the top of the head. Oh, anyways, there's so many videos of, like, the robbers getting fucking shot in the gut and it like hits their their i don't even know what that's called like the I, I i guess like their spinal column or something and it just makes their legs stop and they just fold over like a fucking lawn chair and that's what that scab did i shot him in the gut and he just like whoop, fell over because it's just completely un unable to use his legs like just it's like you're cutting a power cord to someone's body Yeah, that's the spine. That's what that's called. Yeah, when, when people just get, I don't know, like, I, I don't like watching that stuff, but when someone's the aggressor and, like, uh, someone's just defending themselves and they fucking, it's always, like, in Brazil and shit whenever this happens, they, uh, they end up getting into, like, a John Wick gunfight and the, the shop owner comes out on top. You get a little bit of, you feel good a little bit. All right. I'm going to. Put some of this stuff in my. I think that's worth something. I'll put that in there. Um, yeah, there's a guy across the way up on that. That's a scav, I think. Hold on, let me scope him out with this scav rifle. Get his ass. Where's he at up there? He's on. He's by the on the left, sort of. He's on the road. Oh yeah, it's a scab. Let's run. go get him. Yeah, yeah. Get his ass. Yeah, I think you kind of assumed I was gonna shoot him with my rifle, which is weird because we came out with revolvers. We have to execute him right. with the revolvers. Yeah, I was just using that to look. We do not use the weapons of the enemy. No, 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 no. It's strip. It's strictly to just see. 
Wait, is it not here? Am I an idiot? I I I could have swore it was in there, but I guess I'm stupid. Oh, this is the one I was looking for back there. Yeah, the people were like, "You're dumb." Yeah. Syringe. All right, all right. I'm trying to find stuff for the poor man. I don't know where he is, but uh, we'll we'll get you something, buddy. Hold on to his arm, don't worry. It takes so long to dump these. <laughs> it's just the longest reload. I think I did like 12 damage to that guy too. Did you get him? Where's he at? Where'd he go? I've got fucking clue where this guy's at. Hey, does someone have healing? Oh my god, I'm getting fucking ripped. How many times I gotta shoot this fucking guy? I don't know. He's eating him up, man. It's. I feel like we could have came out with better weapons, maybe. Maybe. Can I'm I'm the 357. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's a 357 one. He's still alive. Oh, he's beating me up. Jesus. I shot this guy, no joke, like 10 fucking times. This guy's an animal, let's get out of here. <laughs> Can't even beat up a scab. This guy's horrific. Five guys with revolvers can't even take on fucking one, one hey, scab. I'm kind of bleeding. I don't know. He threw Is it heavy? Heavy bleeding? Of the light. light? Alright, hold on. Uh, I'm here. It's on the floor. <laughs> Let's go. Quickly running out of ammo for this thing. You don't sound too good. You're still hurt. It's got a couple boo boos. You'll be fine. My arm's kind of blacked out, but I think it works. Yeah, both of my arms are black too, but it's fine. Need that? You need that poor guy? Get yourself up, man. Get your shit together. <laughs> Get your Whoa. shit together. Yeah. I think I might just be too Oh, is that really a thing? Hold on, I'm gonna test that. This guy was like he's like switched to the loaded one. And then you can just reload the unloaded one with the rounds by dragging the rounds in. It's quicker. Let's see if he's right. Next time I get into an awesome gunfight that I survive. I'm hoping for like a Bitcoin or something I can give this guy, but we're really finding nothing. Hey, if you guys find any sort of valuable stuff, like maybe like an Intel or something like that, you give it to the poor guy, the uh, wherever he is. He needs something, man. This guy is... Desperately poor. I'm here. There's nothing in here. I got fuel and a car battery, boys. Does somebody want the fuel? Nah, let, let's go over to battery. the. Let's go to the big. Uh, the big place. Hold on. Does somebody want this fuel? I'm too heavy. Can anybody even take it? I could technically take is it fuel or is it expeditionary fuel? It's fuel, the metal one. Hmm. Yeah, I'll take it if you it's have it. It's on the ground it. over there. Okay. It's on the ground over there. It's on the ground over here. Yeah, it's on the ground over there. I just picked it up. It was on the ground over here. Really? <laughs> I got him twice in a row, fellas. <laughs> twice in a row. All right, onward to Big Skelly. You see that guy? I had him tripping. Did we just lose everybody? 
the other guy? Where's the other two guys? Well, we lost one back at Big Red. Oh, what? Did he die? He just went the other direction. I think he just lost us. Oh. I mean, he has the stream. There's no way he doesn't see where we went. Maybe he perished. <sighs> like he's Catholic? Like he he's a parishioner? Maybe he parent. Okay. Should I uh, fire a round off? Yeah, give, give him a desk pop. pop. No, wait. These bullets are worth gold. We're running out of them. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay. I was going to say, I was gonna say do a desk ammo. pop with your mouth. Just look up and go pow. <laughs> yeah, he, he'll be coming in no time. Bang. I think that guy just died of old age. I don't know. Let's go to Big Red or Big whatever this is. Yeah, we're, uh, by the end of this, guys. Okay, so this time we're doing the revolvers. I think after this, we're kind of going to go something that, you know, we might be able to actually kill somebody with. So I'm going to say everybody get ready with Magnum Buck. I think that's going to be the the end goal here is the Magnum Buck. Pathetic attempt. I'm going to show you how it's done. You jump up and over, dude. And then you walk up this way. Booyah. I'm on the left side, by the way. Okay. Med tools. Oh, we lost the poor guy. That's who we lost. He's gone for. No, there's a big air filter over here. That's about it. Man, I've already looted that. Why did I loot it twice? Look at this thing. Big old sexy air filter. What am I going to do with that? I guess there's a good reason he's poor. Yeah, yeah. there's another car battery in this thing. Oh. Uh, I'm good. <laughs> Actually, I think I do I need it. Need Hold it, on. I Hold on. I, I carry two. Too slow. No, what we can do is okay okay i need one too but what we can do here is check this out this, this is gonna be the smartest shit you've ever seen we're gonna take them and we're gonna stash them down beneath us at the door and then we're gonna go hit the button and come back and extract with them that sounds like a plan yeah that's the fucking that's the play all right follow moi follow moi where's the other guy I don't know. Dead weight. We lost him already. Right here. Oh, he's here. I mean, valued member. He's back. I knew he wouldn't leave us. <laughs> okay, so we'll stash him down here, right? Holder of the key. Boom. You want to put yours down there? Fuck it, I'll just leave the whole backpack. And then we shoot out this in case we hit the light. And then exit and close the door. Bingo. All right, now let's go hit the thing. Oh, yeah. We're getting out with this stuff. <laughs> so, so I'm just saying, he's not as funny when he's not fat. That's fucking, that's honestly probably true. It's because when I'm fat, I'm happy. I'm happier when I'm. I'm. And just died. What? Did he get shot? Just fucking died, dude. I have no clue what happened to that man. I didn't hear a bullet. I didn't hear shit. Hey, man, right there. Oh, oh, he's dead. Yeah, there's a fucking sniper. All right, let's go. Serpentine. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck me. Oh, fuck. 
I need medical supplies bad. Oh, not good, not good, not good. Not good, not good. Oh. Talik and Acel over there. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I'm the worst person you could get stuck in this raid with. Come on, let's go. Oh man, that guy dying, that was not good. Bleeding, by the way. was that sniper dude like he just gunned that guy out from a distance jesus you get something for that blood i started bleeding oh you're bleeding bleeding bad there's salewa and the thing on the floor calic I don't like how we all died off pretty quick. That was pathetically fast. Shit, that tube. I hear a guy in the bushes above us. Yeah, I'm reloading it. Eh. <laughs> Anyone notice how Sam is becoming more friendly to the chat people he's playing with? Old Sam would have left them all to die. Let me assure you that I fucking, by the way, I'm just here with one other person. So it's not like I've saved them all or anything. Second of all, if that guy would have made it to extract with the other car battery, he would have been a dead man. I'm out of fucking bullets. Oh, no. Okay. I can use this one as backup. Approximately 10. Are you? I'm about to die. So here, take my shit. What, what do you mean I'm you're about to die? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? Bleeding, man. I'm bleeding bad. I gave you the Salewa and the Calic. The 11 with 11 <sighs> points in it, dude. There's a guy above us. <sighs> Run. <sighs> Go through those doors. Sacrifice yourself for the greater good. Through these doors over here with the blue. He ran outside. Fucking scumbag. I think that was just a scab though. We'll see. Yeah, it's a scab. We're good. Hey. Hold on. This guy's outside, but... I'm just flipping the button and I'm running. I'm coming. I, I think I just left him. Yeah. Oh, he's running into the, he ran into the scab over there. All right. I think this one's almost out. I'm gonna switch over to this one. Uh, okay, so he's fighting that guy. It's okay. We're just gonna get the fuck out of here. Oh God, there's a scab to my left. We'll be all right. If I can, if I have the stamina, I should be able to make the crazy jump. Let's see if I do. Oh, okay. Yes. And now I just have to make it past where that insane like hacker sniper was. Should be good to go. There's someone to my right. I hear them right there. Did you guys see that fucking jump? Sam, did I get a new toupee? Uh, no, I didn't. 
Um, I don't know why I read that. Like, Sam, did I get a... No, did... Sam, did you get a new toupee? Friendly, friendly. I'm here. I'm right behind you, man. I you, made it. You still alive? <laughs> what about your health? Are you okay? Drop dead any second now, dude. <sighs> yeah, you can. <laughs> I'm sorry. That guy said I was being too nice. I had to fucking just reinforce the fact that I'm not. I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, anyways, let's uh, onward to the exit because you know what's great about this? Therapist, I need two more car batteries to get out of here and get that quest finished. And I got the car batteries right here. Right here. Come on. Oh my God, dude. You got to be fucking me in the asshole. Get all this stuff out of here. PS rounds? Fuck yourself. And we're off with the, the fucking items. Yes. All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I didn't get the fuel. I know that I didn't. I, I didn't feel like I. I felt like I heard someone sk skittering up there above me. It freaked me out. Yeah, it freaked me out. I was. I. I was on edge. Whoa! I. I, I think I killed a PMC at 24 minutes in. That was weird. Um, <laughs> 18 hits. Only 389 damage. That's classic. <laughs> oh man. An anonymous gifter gave a, a gorillion subs. Thank you. Uh, 50 community sub gifts. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And all the people that subscribe. Salty Rogers, Windows, uh, King Gabe. I'm sorry. I, I'm not the best at like keeping up with all the activity feed or whatever. I'm not like a great streamer. But that was that was a good round. And for good rounds, I pay attention to the chat thing. Because I feel like I've done something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, watching at work and there hasn't been anything too racy yet. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. We're allies here. On this, uh, on this stream. Most joyless clap. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. Woo. Yeah, I'm really sorry whoever I shot there though at the end that was uh, he said he was gonna die at any second I had to yeah yeah what the hell did I do to my hair um yeah I went to the uh I went to the barber and I was like hey I want a haircut and I want I, I and I always tell him the same thing I go like I want it like shh Short on the sides, not as short up top. You know, like a normal, like, human haircut. And he always gives me the fucking Hitler Youth special. And, uh, which, uh, you know, I think is, it's not a, it's not a bad looking haircut. But at the same time, it's also, it can't be racist because the guy's like Middle Eastern or whatever. So, um, it was, he said, this is what you white people like. And then he fucking gave it to me. He is did it off the top of my head. So I was like, all right, looks good to me. You know what I like about the fact that these haircuts are in style and like prevalent right now is that I can get my haircut and then I can wait four months to go get another haircut because I hate getting a haircut. I hate leaving and going and getting one. So uh, I just, I get a zipped zip, 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 and then I just, I can, I can lay in the cut for like six months or whatever before I have to go do another one. Anonymous Gifter, another hundred subs. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. That's a... Don't do that. <laughs> that's a, I do appreciate it, but that's like... Someone rack up the money on what that was. How much did he spend on that? Because <laughs> that's a lot of money. You probably shouldn't be doing that. Yeah. That's five bucks a sub. Oh, come on, dude. Like, what? You could have... What? That's that, that could have been a plane ticket to go to San Diego in October, and then we could have shook hands IRL. I'm going to be in San Diego. I'm going to be at TwitchCon. I'm going to be maskless. 
Uh, I'm going to have sex with a bunch of dudes, get that monkey pox before I show up. Uh, no, I mean, a lot of people were pissed off about the whole, like, no mask thing at San, uh, TwitchCon. You know, just wash your hands and shit and wear a mask if you want to wear a mask. Yeah, that's what we're going to, uh, you know, how about not fucking, like, rubbing up against each other, too? I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to, if you see me, don't fucking start, like, touching me and shit. But personally, I'm, I'm fiending for some IRL communication with people. So I'm going to take the risk and I'm going to TwitchCon. And uh and I might I'm I'll probably wear a mask or whatever. Um and I'll have hand sanitizer that I can fucking rub all over my hands. And when you guys if someone's really ugly, you might see me fucking squirt it into my eyeballs and do a little blink real quick to cleanse them. But it should be a fun time. It it's funny though because they're having one of those like TwitchCon parties, which I've heard aren't the best. Dude, look at that! The beautiful car batteries, two in one go. Let me give these to therapist. Car repair, two. Got my last remaining ones. Now I just need spark plugs. Excellent. Um. Yeah, what I was gonna say about the TwitchCon parties. Is uh wait uh, hold on let me set like what we're gonna do first. Hold on, I got out of there with some stuff. I got the the car batteries. I got you know this gun or whatever. Got the two revolvers. Might do some more revolver runs. We're gonna do shoddies this time. And I'm also gonna bring more meds because holy shit that was brutal. We got fucked up there. That was actually I'm gonna put the IFAC right here and I'm gonna bring an AFAC. Right there. I'm going to change out the calic for a new one. Right here. Okay. Um, let's go out with shoddies. What shoddy should I bring? Do I even have one? This is sad. I don't have a single. I think I use them so much I don't even have one. I have this like double barrel. I'd prefer to not have the double barrel. Is there any, do you guys just want to go double barrels or do you want to run? No, any shotgun. I'm not going to, I'm not going to gatekeep on what kind of shotgun you can bring. Personally, I'm going to just bring the double barrel because then I don't have to like bring out a different one. And Magnum Buck is the preferred ammo of choice if you can have it. If you have it, get it. If not, bring some Express. Yeah. Can it have power mags? Fuck it. I don't care. Yeah. If you, if you want to bring, if you want to bring a, I just want when, when we find someone and they're like, Hey, I'm about to get into a gunfight. I want them to just see a complete hailstorm of shotgun shells, just <laughs> Magnum buck from every direction. I want their limbs to be ripped off of them. Robocop style where they're just like on their knees and their arms are getting shot off and shit. And they're fucking, they raise up their hand, fingers get blasted off. I want it to be a hailstorm of, of little pellets. That's what I want. So just bring a shotgun. I don't, I don't care if it's the coolest shotgun in the game or the lamest. Like I got Just bring one and put that shit on customs again. We're going customs 15 o'clock. Insure it. Why did I insure that thing? I don't want it back. Do I even have food? I need to, I think I need to food and water. I'm sorry. Hold on. Make sure to food and water your guy. <laughs> if you need that. Drink some milk. Actually, I take it back. I'm really sorry. If you're still watching this, uh, do um, uh, reserve. I want to do reserve shotguns. Reserve is man mode in this game. Yeah, definitely do reserve. 15 o'clock. I'm sorry, I just switched it up. I know there's a lot of people that were in customs and now they've flip-flopped. Yeah. Willard, do not fucking do that to me. Get out of here. Uh, I'm going to see ass leakage seems like somebody that would probably be one of us. He's one of us, baby. Look at that extendo tube. He's got the big tube. Um, I'm going to scroll down here and get some of the poor boys. 
Let's see. Poor boys. I snort heroin. Is he one of us? Excellent. He's one of us. Damn, dude. You guys are pretty consistent in your... This guy's family friendly. Let's bring him. And then toothless guy. Oh, he's right. Dude, this guy is the poorest dude I've ever seen. Look at that. Awesome. What a good group. <sighs> I love how you can tell just by username who's your viewers. Yeah, we're kind of like a different fucking breed of human. We're a little bit, we're a little bit different. Is that, is that tracking now? Yeah, it's tracking. All right. Wait, should I go get like a little snack em real quick? Maybe something to munch on. I got this iced coffee. I kind of wanted something to munch on though. Fuck it. Nah. Uh, dude, I'm not gonna lie. For uh, lunch, like, my wife's like on a diet, you know, like the constant American mentality of just like, I need to lose weight. And so you're just constantly just falling in and out of diets. Where she made me order Mediterranean food for lunch from this like healthy place called Zoe's Kitchen. I basically paid like $60 to get lunch delivered for two people. Uh, that was food that I could fucking cook. It was dog shit. It was undercooked vegetables and some fucking uh, some kebabs on the grill that got burnt. <laughs> <laughs> burnt kebabs and shitty undercooked vegetables and some falafel that was basically just a hockey puck. It looked like they took uh, meat, meat and breadcrumbs and stuffed it in an espresso cup. And then, uh, you know how like espresso gets like put into a little cake when you're finished with it. It was just those. And I was like, what the, what the hell? This is like the worst meal I've ever had in my life. Yeah. Yeah, Zoe's kitchen is shit you could cook at home. Yeah, it's not it's not great. That that's what I hate. I hate like ordering food that I could just make at my house. I that's why I don't order Jimmy John's cuz I'm like this is just a sandwich that my mom would put together like a week after she got divorced. Like and she just doesn't care and she's trying to You ever if you guys have kids, you know you have those days where it's like it's Saturday and the kids are like I'm hungry and you're just like Fuck, dude, like, here's, like, you just take, like, random bread and just put shit on it, and you fold it in half and go, like, eat this. Because half the time you give a kid food, and they just go, I don't want it. And it's, like, you can put the most love into, like, a, a meal, and they'll be like, ew. And then I swear to God, one time I was sick, and I opened up a thing of saltine crackers. And immediately, when you have kids, if you open up something, it's, like, flies on shit. You can't have, when you're a parent, you can't have anything to yourself anymore. There is no my snack. And I opened up saltine crackers and those kids were like, what the fuck's that, man? What, what, what you got there? Those saltine crackers. They ate those fuck. I haven't seen these kids eat as ravenously as, as I saw them tear into these crackers. They ate a whole fucking tube of them. They loved them. They wouldn't stop. And so now, like, whenever they see saltines, they're like, oh, you're breaking out the gourmet shit? I'm like, dude, we've been feeding you, like, upper tier stuff. Like, my wife is a fantastic cook, and she'll make, like, she'll make, a, uh, like, you know, homemade mac and cheese and stuff. No. Craft out of the box. Those kids will be frothing at the mouth. <laughs> if she puts love into something, they hate it. If she gets, like, just dog shit, saltines... Kraft mac and cheese, Totino's party pizzas, the little party pizzas. Kids love, my kids are going to be, I, I swear to God, they're like half microplastic at this point. They're turning into like, <laughs> from the inside out, they're turning, they're like plastic just because they, they refuse to eat. There's a Louis C.K. special where he's like frustrated because his kids won't eat. And he says something like, he's like, the, gov the, the government knows you exist. You have to eat. Like, it's so frustrating when they won't eat. And, uh, and it's true. Like they just stop consuming food for some reason. 
and you can't get it there. It's like, I'm not hungry. And I'm like, dude, like the food's right here. Just put it in there. Like you have to bribe them. We're like, we'll give you a sip of apple juice if you take one fucking bite of the quesadilla. Just one crumb of bite. And they'll do like a, like the Squidward eating a crumb of the Krabby Patty bite. They'll just, and then they'll take a sip of, uh, they get a big sip of apple juice or something. You're like, just fucking eat, dude. And so naturally as a parent, you break down and then, you, you just end up feeding your kid dog shit because it's the only thing they will eat. And you're like, you have to eat something. Yo. Frustrations as a Hola. parent. Meow. Hello. Meow. What's up? Uh, not, mu not much. Let's go, man. Where, where do you guys want to go? I have all the keys for downstairs. You guys want to go downstairs? Okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Sam's parenting rant crisis. Yeah, it was. It gets kind of. It's concerning so sometimes. The stream. There's too much delay. What the fuck? Yeah, I should probably remind people that like I'm U.S. East. So if you like live in Europe or something like that, you should probably just watch and not not partake. Okay, so who's this guy with the black the black balaclava on? This is also a good. Okay, okay, me and you and this guy running up with the cool hat. We are we are fire team A. Everybody else is fire team B. All right, so fire team B, you get on the left side, and fire team A is gonna stick to the right. Okay, go in there. I unlock that. Go in there and loot. I'm coming over. I'm coming over. I'm going to unlock this side. Here you go. Go in there and loot. We'll meet up at the other end. Why would he come out and block me? Why would he body block me like that? Okay, so I finally looted enough of this shit down here to get the holo, holo, Mr. Hollow Dick Nick's bag. Something tells me there's a scab down here. Somewhere. Off in the distance. I'm not like an expert. I don't pretend to be an expert, but I think there's probably oh God, a scab. You alright? You kill him? Hello. Yeah, that guy's yeah, a scam. Yeah, this is a scam. Nice. Okay. Dude, I remember. I, I miss the days when I could just open up this end and then bust through that end. You can't do that anymore. It uses twice as many key usages. Fucking annoying. Hello, hello. So now you like. you. You open up one end and then you have to walk back out the end that you open. Super lame. Some guy keeps like doing the scav voice lines. I feel like I'm going to just light him up. Yeah. Oh my god. We have like some insane like Healthcare. <laughs> We're having some insane healthcare talk in the in the chat. That's the plan. What's the plan? Uh, I'm I'm looting stuff. That's the plan. I need some goddamn money. Uh, hold on. Wait. I'm just looting this stuff real quick, and, and then we'll be out, and we can go conquer. Oh, sick, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie to you. I pay a lot in private healthcare because like. After Abby quit her job, I'm getting confused. There's, there's two double barrels. I don't know who to follow. Uh, she uh, she had health care through her job or whatever. Now I pay like twelve hundred dollars a month, just for me, her, and the girls. But then again, honestly though, Abby gets every penny's worth out of it. She like, she'll wake up one morning and be like, oh my my fucking yeah, like, sure. my, I don't know, my back feels a little bit funny. 
Oh, I think I slept on it wrong. Let's go see what the doctor says. And then she goes and pesters the doctor and the doctor's like, get out of my fucking hair. And she's like, can you send me to a specialist? She'll get the specialist and everything. The whole time insurance is getting billed out the asshole for all this stuff. So she really gets her, <laughs> she gets her money's worth, so to speak, but. Okay. All right, everybody here. I think now's the time where we lube up with uh, with some painkillers really quick before we make this run out in the open. All right. There's nothing worse than getting legged right out here in the open. Okay, you painkillers. Okay, well, if you get legged, you'll be the you'll be the decoy. All right, let's go to medical. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Whoa. Couple warning shots. Suppress a fire, man. Suka! Dude, that guy is throwing me off by saying shit in scavenies. He's just like, Suka! or whatever he, the fuck he's saying. It's like weirding me out because I keep thinking it's a scav. I was gonna like twitch and shoot him. Do you guys want to go up? Let's go up and get some meds, and then we'll go down into the basement. Anybody have these keys? No, I don't have them. Uh, I got a, uh, ooh, a Salewa. Look at that. Ooh. Anybody need that for the quest? I'm just using it because it's nice to use. Yeah, I mean, it's been a hot minute since the wipe, so I doubt somebody needs it for the quest. Yeah, that quest was a pain, dude. <sighs> yeah, for you, maybe. Sam's wife's name Ava? No, her name's not Ava. I didn't marry a fucking like Eastern European sex traffic victim. <laughs> no, her name's Abby. She's she's a good old Southern gal. Something tells me somebody disconnected down there. Oh, it's our homie. Yeah, our homie's guy, disconnected. Yeah. Hey, hey, he's back. He's back. Homie, we're up top. Come up here. Let me, let me wake him up. Come on, man. Come on. <laughs> what a cool guy yeah i was we were honestly if he was if he stayed oh, disconnected guy. for another 30 seconds i was gonna do I like a he went downstairs. Yeah, yeah he's coming up he's coming up all right uh let's go down into the basement how about that coming down coming down into the basement Someone's been here. Mm. Some gator got to show his snout. All right, does everybody know, remember who was in fire team what? Uh, me. Yeah, me and uh, Toothless. I think that's yeah, it. Toothless. Yeah, Toothless. Yeah, yeah. All right, do, wait, where's fire team? Where's my, where's my homie with the... With where's... The same, man. Oh. Yeah, there's ass one. leakage. Where's the other dude? Oh, he's the one that disconnected. No, no, no. Wait, this no, is the guy that disconnected. Where, where's the oh, other homie? Okay. Where's... Did he die? I don't know. Maybe he just. I think. He... Oh yeah, he got. He got dumped. Oh. Did he really? Yeah, yeah. That was the dude that. Uh, right as we walked out, he got shot in the head. What? Oh, he got killed. <laughs> yeah. Ah. That the guy without the painkiller was that yeah, okay. the guys... painkiller? Oh my god. No, I, I didn't have the painkiller, but I don't know. He like walked. I screamed, man. It scared me. <laughs> okay, okay. So we got. So now Fire Team A has two people, and Fire Team B has two people. All right, now it's even. Okay, this is good. All right, let's go on downstairs. We're probably gonna run into either a hacker or raiders. Those are, those are the two options. I mean, they're pretty much the same thing. They didn't loot 
this. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, shirts and skins definitely make it easier. Um, Are we going to leave offices and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Let's go in there. Let's do the whole loot them up thing. Damn, dude. This guy's oh, being maybe. cautious. You seen the breach and clear. Uh, I don't like it when people use tactics like that. I don't like when people win. Look at that. Anybody want a pestily mask? Huh? Everybody's favorite Tarkov streamer. A little pestily action. I mean, that's pretty sweet, but I can offer you... A USB-8 after. Oh, yeah. Whoa. I don't know. I'm going to wear the pestily thing, I think. Natural no, Dabra. Yeah. Very sweet. Dude, why don't you take off the fucking coal pack helmet? Because one of the fucking idiots is going to shoot me if I don't have it on. No, look, look at us. None of us are wearing the coal no, pack. No offense, man. No offense. No, no, oh, none shit. of us are wearing the coal pack. Put on the Cayman. No, yeah. Got to use running. Oh, did he disconnect again? Um... I'm back. Don't Is that worry. one of us? Hey, man. Yeah. Don't worry, I'm coming. All right. Did you disconnect? Don't worry about me. Oh, that's that's ass leakage. Oh, naturally, naturally. I could smell him before I see him. Of course, he's ass leakage. Yeah, I'll start acting evil as soon as I put on the pestily mask, and I'll be like, oh my god, something's come over me. Like uh, and if you guys didn't know, it's although it's gotten a lot of positive praise, the uh, we've been making a D and D show recently, and that's been one of the themes. Is like, I keep picking up items and going like, oh, this is cool, and half the fucking items I pick up have like stupid magical properties that change how I act, and I have to actually role play, which is fucking lame. But like I'll put on something, and you'll be like, yeah, by the way, like that oh, makes you. Never mind. It gives you like a sense of grandeur or something and I'm about to act like that, which is fucking super stupid, but I do it. I do it because I'm a good, I'm a good boy. <laughs> Wait, there's above foreign us, footsteps above us. Yes, there are. All right, we'll sneak up on them. They'll have no idea that we're coming. Let's go. Fire team B, on delay. Hey, you go. <gasps> That's one of us. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. God damn. We shot ourselves trying to find you. Where are you? Yeah, come on. Us. I can hear him. Is he above us? Hey, are you up he, above us? Like, yeah. Probably tech room. Oh, wrong building. Never mind. Hey, this guy needs to be more forthcoming with information or else he's going to make... All right, let's go upstairs. Let's do it. Fire team B. Stairs or downstairs? Where the hell yeah, is this he's guy? talking to us. Guy, where are you? What the fuck? Oh, you little shit, where are you? Yeah, I think he is. Is he downstairs? Is he like him? Can he go through this hole? Yeah. You think he's up here? Don't go on night, it's scary. Alright, third story it is. We're coming up again. We'll get this guy eventually. Got him! I got him! Oh, Jesus. Okay. He's a fucking scab player. Oh, what? No, oh, what? did he have a shotgun? Yeah. Oh, he did. He had a nicer this one than me. A sick booty hat. You mind if I grab the MP shotgun? No answer? Is a yes? Nini Mezzi, alright? I'm good, I'm good. Alright. So 
kind of shells he had. Let's see, was it control? No, it's ooh, that's not good. Was it control R? There we go. Get rid of these here. It's jam. It didn't look like it was jammed. I think it was. All right, awesome. Thanks for the shotgun, whoever killed that guy. The, um, let's see, what, what else, uh, what other, uh, let's see, I have, a back, I have a backpack full. All right, let's roll on down to, I guess, train station, because that's, I hear some gunshots down there, and then we can just go for an exit. Worst case scenario. All right, sure. Someone else is here, someone else. Hello? 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 Yo, yo, yo. Yeah. Are you a scav? Hello? We're scavs. I don't... I'm... What's wrong? Got a scav army up here, man. It's a scav army. Get up here, man. Uh. <laughs> the secret is, we're not scavs. That's a secret. You guys say it low, so he doesn't hear. Be quiet. We're hunting rabbits. <laughs> that hello. Hey. Mm. Hello. Yo. Are you guys get up there, man. Yeah. Yeah, Mike. Get up. Yeah, man. We haven't sca You want to go to the train station? It's a scam party up here, man. It's a scam party. Get up here, man. Dude, stop fucking talking shit about Bro, my haircut. You're making me go get a hat. <laughs> I miss Fat Sam. Don't worry, dude. It'll come back. I'm gonna be eating real good tonight. Can we, can we and I'll get my out? tum tum back. Wait, I can still mush it into like a, a belly. Are you a player? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a type of player. Oh, are you like, are you like a USEC? A bear or a scav? Name your allegiance. Is the right answer. Scav is the right answer. What say? All right, we're gonna come down and fucking kill you if you don't answer what you are. No, 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 no. Hey man, where the fuck is that? Who you at, man? Okay, you guys ready? Wait, where'd everybody else go? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Come on, I was let's born go. ready. I know that. Let's go down. All right, let's go back down. You first, guy that already went down. You got the lay of the land. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. First story. Dude, it, war is hell out here. When are we gonna see? He killed. He killed ass leakage. You need ammo? I got three. Oh shit, thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. Uh, did I get him? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. He's dead. I, I sprayed him. He had like level four though. <laughs> Damn, dude, you fucking, you killed the shit out of him. That was... <laughs> yeah, get battery. fucked. Car battery, y'all, can I have it? I don't need it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys ever just dominate an uh, enemy like this else, so I'll hard? Take, just dominate the shit out of them? Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're scavs. Hell you yeah, PMC? There's a guy with a Mosin out there. God damn. God damn. I got two heavy plates. Holy shit. I got a grizzly here. Come here. I'm good. I got it. Okay, okay, okay. Keep an eye on that door. There's a guy outside by the helicopter with a Mosin. Hello? What the Yo, hell? You hey, shot hey, the hell out of me. On, we can bro. work this out. We can work this out. Like it doesn't sound like you just shot at us. That was me. That wasn't me. That's my. That's a, another scab. He's been. Oh shit. Hey man, come here. Let me patch you up. We just killed the guy Kill that shot our homie. Thing. I've got one round left. Make it count. Hold on. I think they're both dead. Come in here. Oh. It's a goddamn ambush. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Damn. This place is brutal. I need some ammo. Uh, take a pick. Grab a gun. Grab any gun. Grab a gun. I don't care. What the hell's happening? Jesus. <laughs> I want to get just like I I love this gun by the way I know it's like super cheap but I love it. Ooh, a vog? <laughs> Break a five for that. This guy had an antique axe in his rig. Ooh, and a Salewa. Nice. I love how this guy just sat down. All right, I'm out. I'm just gonna sit down a little bit. Thirty-five thousand. I could put this down in the old uh, ooh, a safe key. Ooh, he killed a level thirty guy. Huh. The calic up here. Uh, Are you all good for uh, meds? Uh, yeah, this guy right here has a bunch of mags for his Saiga okay. that you might be able to get some shells out of. Wait a second, I heard someone outside. Speak now or die. I don't know. I think we're safe. Yeah, bro. Uh, you think I have time to do some arm surgery? Sorry, what's that? I'm going to do some arm surgery. Hold on. Yeah, here. I've got a CMS if you need it. I'm good. I, I got it. I'm in this room at the end of the door closed. How's everybody doing, man? Um, um, no, I'm not the best at paying attention to chat, but I'm trying. I'm trying, all right? What's the next kit? Yeah, so you guys can get it all together. Shotguns has been pretty good. I'm not going to lie. Next kit might be Ketters again, because the Ketters was, that's my go-to right now. Like, if I'm rolling out and I'm just like, I want to have wacky mode where I just... Actually, fuck that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't do ketters. Everybody PPSHs with at least a drum mag. 
I want I want the first mag to be a drum mag and then bring like four backup mags, stick mags, the 35 rounders, and like a bunch of bullets. That's the next that's the next kit. PPSH, big drum mag. I want it to look like a like the scene from Godfather if we uh if we come up across someone. This guy's like, what about the vector? I'm like, not everybody has that, dude. We're going for like poor people loadouts. I don't even think I can afford a vector. Like, like poor people stuff. Hey, yo, dude, keep an eye on your food and water. What do you got food and water wise? You all right out there? It's utter silence. Is he dead? Homie, you alive? Oh my god, that hurt. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> yeah, easy dodge, dude. It's you know what it was? Is when I walk, I put a lot of sway into my hips. You know, like when Patrick Bateman is like <laughs> he's like, are these newspapers all over your floor? What do you have a chow or something? <laughs> he goes like, yes, I do, Paul. And then he does that fucking like little wiggle when he walks. That's how I walked. And the guy was shooting where my hips were. And then I would fucking shake him over to the other side. That guy didn't even fucking hurt me. Oh my God. I hear him above me. We did flip the switch, right? Sort of. <gasps> Them good rounds? PRS. Dog shit. All right. I have a feeling this guy might be a stream sniper. He's just he's just actively tracking me in a very strange way. Like he knows where I'm going. BP? down ibuprofen only three left hold on there has to be something better here this thing maybe i don't know i don't know values hello Dude, what is, uh, what is with this, man? This is like, uh, I'm like the last guy alive every single time. Something kooky's going on here, dude. Something fishy. Chances of us running into someone down here after this point slim to none usually if someone's camping they're like way up there at the top you know like camping down here though that's 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 a rarity yeah, this stuff hasn't even been searched yet this hasn't even been flipped yet you guys 
doing the, the themed runs, it's a 100% success today. You know, not for you guys, not for you guys, but for me, it's been very profitable. Yeah. I play, uh, I play on, you guys don't like the film grain because I think it's getting compressed over your, uh, over the, the fucking, Ooh, oh my God. I killed ass leakage. I didn't think I killed ass leakage. What the hell? I thought he died from the enemy. Hmm. hmm. Oh, well. Oh, well, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's odd. That's, I think he might have, I think he might have like leaned into like when I was shooting down a hallway, he kind of like, he peaked at the same time as me. I think is what that was. Tell us why it's grainy dog shit. I'm sorry. So I have it on because I love film grain. I think the grain looks great. I love, I love graininess for some reason. I'm a grainy guy. But uh, when it's being compressed and sent over uh, the the World Wide Web, thanks to Al Gore, um, it gets it gets crunched on and it ends up looking like shit. So I can turn it off. I'll turn off the noise, and then now it's just smooth as eggs. Yeah. Turn off head bobbing. Wait, you don't like a head to be bobbing a little bit? You don't like a little bob? Jesus Christ, you guys are picky. <laughs> Al Gore invented OnlyFans? Oh my god. And he explained it the same way. He was like he was like the internet is a series of tubes. But OnlyFans is a series of holes. He said that's the entry entryway into those tubes. Man. That guy should have been our president. <laughs> that guy was awesome. Um, okay, so this one, what did I say we were doing? Oh, yeah, we're doing PPSHs. By the way, anal leakage, thank you for the corund. Very noble of you to give this to me. Thank you so much. Uh, I'll put this in here. And, God, I don't have any room in my med, my med thing. What are the chances? Uh, I think these go for a lot on oh, herring. 17,000. Um, yeah, there's so much stuff. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? No, no, I'm going to move this down. Move this down. I'm just going to go in like a sell them frenzy where I'm just going to sell all this crap. And it's not going to be to the highest bidder or whatever. It's going to be to just whoever will buy it. Oh, like I need to level up Peacekeeper. So he's getting the brunt. There we go. Wait, I just sold to him. Then we're going to do therapist. Even though I don't really need to sell her much more. Actually, who is it that I need to sell the most to? Is it this guy? Jaeger? Yeah, 1.5 mil is what I need to send a uh, spend on him. Spend all this shit. There we go. Get rid of all of it. What? I don't think Theo Vaughn is smart enough. Dude, Theo Vaughn, what are you talking about? The guy's a genius. He plays the part of a, he's a southerner, right? But no, the guy is, he's way smarter than I am. Are you kidding me? He's, have you guys seen, if you guys are Theo Vaughn fans, there is a clip of him doing, he does a stand-up sesh while on Mushrooms. And it is the funniest shit in the world to me. And like, especially like if you don't feel like watching it all the way through, go on there and like look at the comments and people will put like little timestamps of when he does shit. That is so funny. He's just like, by, by the way, to just have the, the sheer confidence to go do uh, open mic on shrooms is fucking incredible to me. But uh, he's, he's, a, he's a smart guy. Yeah, you can tell. Who is it? His name's Theo Vaughn. T H E O space V O N or is it V A U G H N? I think it's V O N. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy, he, okay. It's chomp chompy or whatever. He says, if you think Theo Vaughn's dumb, you're too stupid to understand. You're falling for a shtick. Exactly. Like, no, he's a smart guy. 
he's definitely a smart guy yeah he's he's a, and he seems like a honestly seems like a super nice dude and a genuine guy yeah, he, he's cool as hell. He's like one of those people where if something comes out where he's he's actually a horrible human being, I'm going to be completely blindsided by it. You know, like some people, if like if they come out that they're a bad person, you're like, I get it. Yeah, I totally saw that coming from a mile. <laughs> like, I don't think anybody was aghast when Louis, Louis C.K. It was like he was jacking off in front of ladies that didn't much care for that. Uh, I think like <laughs> that came out and people were like, well, yeah. <laughs> What, were you surprised? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> but like, if Theo Vaughn, if he, if he turns out to be like a bad guy or something behind the scenes, I'm going to be completely surprised. He seems like a really dope guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. It's Louis C.K. What did they fucking expect? Exactly. Okay. Oh, yeah. Remember, guys, PPSH, big drum mags. Big drum mags on this one. Uh, what else is in our kit to identify us? Fucking just. That's it, dude. <laughs> just a PPSH. Uh, you know, if you want to wear what we got, we got VoIP now. How about this? If you don't have a fucking mic, don't join. All right, because I'm tired of people that are just like micless nobodies that they get lost. And then I'm like, where'd they go? And I had no idea what they sounded like or anything. But if you're if as long as you got like a mic or whatever and you can like talk. Yeah, I'm tired of bringing people in. And I'm like, all right, everybody here. And one guy goes like he just does a nod. The hell? Give me some give me some verbal, man. Give me a mic check. One, two. That's what I want to hear. All right, um, yeah, bring some of this. Some of that, I feel like. You know who else is smart? This is going to be, you guys are going to be like, what the fuck's this guy talking about? But just like the average Tarkov streamer, because the fact that they can maintain a conversation and do work this game at the same time, that's like, what the fuck? I am trying so hard to just, keep my wits about me while navigating this god awful menu it's not like god awful menu it's just like i feel like one of those guys that like you know like the ibm computer stations from 1963 with the giant magnetic reels and like buttons like from every ed wood sci-fi movie it's just like buttons as far as the i can see with little lights blinking in my face there's like a 1500 fucking things on this goddamn screen and i'm trying to like maintain a, a constant communication stream with you guys and work it at the same time and it's not uh it's not coming together all right it's not I'm, I'm i'm fucking struggling here what do i need okay i got bleed stuff i got health stuff i got splints for my legaloos and i need meta i need ibuprofen thank you i don't know why i said thank you i figured that out myself fuck you was what i meant to say fuck, fuck, fuck you guys i figured it out all right, uh, food, food, food goes into food thing. I might want to eat some of this, right? Tashanka, munch, apple, juice, munch. I think that's everything. Maybe another little grand thing here. Okay. Where the fuck am I going to get a PPSA? Who sells those? Anybody know? Weapon parts, 19K. Okay, so I got that part. That's the hard part, is the drum mag. PPSH. Lo and behold, I found it. <clears throat> oh, man. Am I, am I a fit? Oh, by the way, if you guys are uh, interested in this, I am going to be doing uh, another like mail time thing because I, I did I kind of bit off more than I could chew here. I was very excited to be doing mail time stuff, and then um and then you guys have been sending in so much shit. Like I was like, oh, I'll do like you know like one a month or something like that, maybe one every two weeks or something. And there has been so much shit sent to the house. 
I am up to my every day. Abby walks in with just like a bushel of packages. And it was like just so much crap. I'm like, Jesus Christ. I don't like I there's a lot of I didn't think I would have to open this much stuff. And uh and some of it is like is cool enough that I feel like it warrants its own thing. You know what I mean? Like the Tashanka, I wanted to like have its own its own thing and then it ended up being a bust, but oh god, or not Tashanka, I'm sorry, the um Sir Strumming. Here we go. What? Get that on there. Am I? I bought 300 rounds. I don't think I'm going to use all 300. Or I think I am going to. Yeah, I'm not even going to have that much left over. Not even a full stack. Oh my. Mm hmm. Okay, here. I'm going to buy some more. Buy another 150. Okay, but I do kind of have something important to tell you guys about the mail. Um, if you guys do send in stuff, very much appreciated. Uh, I do, I've been getting some flack from the UPS company that, uh, they're the people that do the mailbox. They like, it's not a PO box. It's a mailbox. You can put, you can send in shit from anywhere on there. Amazon doesn't have to be like USPS. Like you can ship anything to it. Right. Cause it's just technically an address. They've been giving me a little bit of stank over the fact that you guys aren't putting like General Sam on the name of the person you're sending it to. And they're going to because some guy keeps like sending it in saying like he, he keeps putting like a bad word on there. <laughs> and uh, and they're like, look, if it doesn't say his name, we're just going to send it back to we're going to return to sender. So you guys do need to like put at least Sam on there. Or else they're just going to return it to sender and you're going to lose like that fucking 15 bucks or whatever it costs to send stuff. I don't know. All right. Everybody ready? We're going uh, we're, uh, PPSHs on Lighthouse. The, this is the map with the longest range. We're going to go Lighthouse with the PPSHs. Eight, eight o'clock. Right, right side time. Yeah. Yeah, like this guy said he, he sent it to fat retard. I don't think the nice lady that's at that's at UPS is going to be happy about seeing something come in for fat retard and then my box number. And she's, she's like getting fed up with it because I think she thinks a lot of the names are offensive. And I've explained to her the situation. I was like, these people are fucking animals, dude. They are just, they are absolute animals. So like, I'm sorry in advance. And she's still like, I, I gave her a brace for impact and she still got fucked up by the, she gets uppercutted every time she reads a name on there. <laughs> All right. Uh, Let's see. I'm, I'm trying to get people I haven't gotten before. Nice. Ooh, nice. Glasses. Everybody respect the drip for a second on this guy. Incredible. Marco's pizza delivery. Let's see what he shows up with. Ooh, mommy muscles. Okay. Uh, this guy doesn't, he didn't come out with the drum mag, but I'll give him a little bit of respect. Okay. Dude, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Marcos. I am so sorry, dude, but you just don't have the drum mag. <laughs> I'm sorry. The drum mag is, we got four of us with drum mags. We have to, we have to get a, we have to get, another, I'm going to get someone from the, the dredges down here. The, the poor people. Let's see. Mega Funk Hunk. If he comes in. Oh my god, Mega Funk Hunk. Come on, dude. I want to get a drum, Maggie. I'm on, on, on the last guy that we're getting in here. Here we go. There we go. Five drum mags. 
Perfect. Uh, he's level two. No way he has a drum mag. Oh, fuck. I didn't see his level. That makes me feel a little bit worse. Yeah, you know what? Okay, so you guys see that's loading map or whatever. I'm just going to go full screen because it makes me feel a little bit better. I feel like it's not like a little weird. Actually, you know what? The other stuff advertises my other business ventures. If you guys are into D&D &D at all, we got a new D&D &D show called Die of Laughter. We proposed like 50 names and that was the chosen name. And I don't think any of us are like super happy with it, but there it is. And <laughs> also got the Forehead Fables podcast. And I got some nice little, look at those little coffee mugs there. Aren't those nice? And then um, I got, you know, apparently I was supposed to have something down in that other box. And I ended up just putting a placeholder picture in there because I forget what the hell was supposed to be there. It was something important, though. Forget what it was. I ended up having to change it for some reason. Probably TOS. Yeah. Are you guys still in the fucking tavern? Uh so like episode five, um Bizzle forces us out. <laughs> I don't I don't want to do spoilers, but it's definitely not uh it was not on our own volition. We leave the tavern not on our own volition. I'll tell you that much. And then you you guys can watch it and fucking see what happens. But it's uh we, we were trying to do this bit where we like stayed in the, the starting, you know, like whenever you do a D and D sesh, you always like start at some point where like everybody's together, like it's a meeting place where it's like your characters are having a crossroads where they finally meet. And then uh in this instance, the classic example, like everybody meets in a tavern and they're like, Hey, let's go this way. And like Bizzle is hilarious, dude. He set up all these insane, like possible jumping off points where he's like, it's like a, the, the first town you go to in Skyrim or something or Megaton or whatever in fallout three. And like you walk in and there's someone going like, I wish somebody would handle those darn rad scorpions down the road. And then there's another person going like, Raiders have attacked us for the last time. Somebody should finish them off for good. And then there's somebody else going like, if Tinpenny comes down here and thinks he can own us, well then by God, we should do something about him. And so it's very obviously they're trying to get you to go do something quest related. Bizzle tried doing that and we were just like, me, Brian, and Pooh were like, fuck it. We're not <laughs> we're not gonna bite on none of that. We're not biting on none of it. And uh he let us get through like five episodes or something like that. And then he fucking forced us out. <laughs> Cause we just weren't biting. <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> Man. But anyway, so they uh so we're we're now we're we're deep into a quest. Honestly, it's gotten better with time because at first I had no idea how to play. And then, um, I'm sorry guys. I need to fucking like stand up or something. At first I had like, Oh sweet. The mic comes all the way up here. I need to like do a stretch. I had no idea how to play cause I had never played D and D except for like one of those stupid on rails D and D sessions at, uh, PAX West. And, um, and so doing this one, uh, Jesus, doing this one, like I, I really kind of needed to learn. And I'm glad Pooh was there because he uh, he kind of set the pace of like how we're going to play because he's played a bunch. And so uh, very quickly, I think by I think now, like we've hit our stride in terms of like I've realized what you can do, which is fucking anything. And what I like more than anything, not to fucking, I don't want to spoil anything, but I've realized I can go like, I can go like, hey, uh, hey guys, deafen for a second. And I go like, Bizzle, I, um, I'm going to try to pit pocket this, uh, this fucking guy with no one knowing. Or like, I'll like, I'll like, uh, make a fucking kick me sign and like put it on someone's back without them knowing, like a sleight of hand roll. And then they undeafen and they're like, what the fuck? Like, what were you doing? Like, <laughs> but they can't metagame, you know? So they're like, it's their, their character in the show is oblivious to what happened because my guy's doing it kind of behind the scenes. Uh, oh, we're loading in. 
and now that I've realized I can just fucking whack a doodle my way through, it's been it's been a lot of fun. Ah, excellent! I, what a fucking weird spawn. Everybody Hello. here? Yeah. Where's the Hello? fifth? Hello. Is there a fifth one? Fifth boy? Well, I guess I that makes I this mean, easy. So. Beard guy and coal pack. You're fire team A, and then you and me are fire team B. I can speak, but it's through right. text to speech. Oh, your text to speech? Fun. That's awesome as hell. Disabled. <laughs> oh, you. Oh, you. Like you are disabled, or was the text to speech disabled? <laughs> Both? Okay. Awesome. I mean, not awesome. That sucks for you. But uh, good on you for overcoming it with text to speech. You know what's awesome about that, though? Is like, imagine uh, this person was disabled like 20 years ago. Like, life would suck so much more. Like, there's so many, like, little tools that have been developed that if you're disabled, you can, uh, you know, you can still navigate around fairly i don't want to say poggers. uninhibited but <laughs> poggers <laughs> but um <laughs> no i wouldn't say uninhibited but there's definitely like technology has has done a lot to kind of help them along well, this person shit their pants jesus christ Have you seen those people that play like Smash and stuff and they only use their feet on the controllers and they still whoop ass? That's incredible to me because I have like both of my hands in full full harnessing of my motor functions <laughs> and I still suck ass at stuff like that and I would get my ass whooped by this person using their feet. Honestly kind of pisses me off. <laughs> Honestly it makes me mad. Hey, there's one guy that says he likes my haircut. Sweet. All right, everybody. Uh, where, where, where you, where you want to go? At the right. You want to go? Let's go to the rogues. Let's go over yonder. We'll go through the village. Okay. Do you have to like type stuff that you want to say in text to speech or do you have like uh I'm assuming so cuz you stop moving. Can you type and talk at the same time or something? Bad guys front. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. <gasps> okay. Sniper's over yonder. Someone got shot in the chest. <laughs> Feel good, big guy? You need, need stim pack or something? Uh, CMS would be nice. Survival kit, how about that, huh? Thank you. Thank you. What do you take out, your stomach? Yeah. I got snacks, though. If you want some. I don't need it. I remembered I fed myself before we came. Yeah, that guy got tagged up. I think you're in the line of fire. I don't need anything. No, no, no. I think we're good. Yeah, get crouch a little bit. I think you're going to get shot. The person that shot was over there on top of the mountain. All right, dude, you're milking it. Come on. Heal up. Jesus Christ, this guy. <laughs> Alright, you good? Alright, let's go. My money don't jingle jingle. It folds. I like to see you wiggle wiggle. For sure. It makes me want to dribble dribble. You know. This guy, like, it's 
like having um, Bumblebee from those Transformers movies, it's like speaking through radio. Do you remember that fucking movie? I remember when those movies came out, everybody was like, Megan Fox is all you would talk about. Like all any teenage boy fantasized about for like a decade was Megan Fox. And then, and then uh, she fell off the face of the planet for a while. And everybody's like, where the hell did she come? Like, where'd she go? I thought she was gone. And everybody found out her thumb looks like someone smashed it with a, with a cinder block. It's like all fat on the end. She has like a club thumb. And then everybody was like, everybody acted like that was like the worst thing in the world. They're like, ew, I wouldn't touch Megan Fox with a 10 foot pole. Her thumb's all funny shaped. As if she's still not like the most beautiful lady ever made. And then the, uh, I mean, she's not personally my taste, but you have to admit if you would see her in real life, you'd be like, God damn, like, holy shit. Because the people in like your average day life are just average, you know? And then all of a sudden she started dating like Machine Gun Kelly, I think is the guy's name. And she's like everywhere again. Doesn't look like she's aged a fucking day since then. Just ignore that guy. It'll be all right. Oh, they're married? I'm so tired of this walking. I didn't realize they were married. That's fucking wild. Yeah. That chick is hot, but overrated for sure. Yeah, and I, there was there was a, a time when, like, that's all you would see was just like, oh, my God. Same thing with fucking the, the lady that plays uh, Joy from Blade Runner 2049. The Armas something, the Armas. I forget her name. Alma the Armas or something. I don't know. They, they, uh, <laughs> this guy said, uh, half them dudes would literally stick that weird thumb up her ass, up their ass. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, I mean, at that point, not even into that, but I mean, if she's got a crazy thumb like that, you got to give it for a spin, you know, <laughs> you got to fucking, you got to give that a ride. <laughs> if she's bringing the wacky thumb to the bedroom, you know, <laughs> I'm fucking, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm definitely going to give it a ride. <laughs> Anna de Armas, yeah. She's hot, but like after Blade Runner came out, people were just going bananas over her forever. I'm like, she's hot, but like, come on. She's not that hot. Is this like the blow up zone? I think. Right on 12. Uh, let's go. Let's go. We'll, we'll be fine. Thumb spin. <laughs> thumb spin. Yes. Yes, Mrs. Disabled Girl. Thumb spin. Exactly. What's your, uh, what's your actual name? If you don't mind me asking. Texas speech lady. You know, what's your name? Texas speech lady. Poke. Poke. That's it. Just poke. Hope. Oh, hope. Okay. Hope. I think like the beginning of the Texas speech stuff kind of cut off. So it was just like, hope. Hope. It says, I agree. Probably a dude. Yeah, maybe. All right, everybody. Sometimes my TTS is disabled too. Oh, okay. That's all. That's a, that's the worst. Cause it's like the worst of both worlds. It's like the blind leading the blind at that point. Uh, all right, we're about to run into some serious opposition up here, but let's roll in. Uh, beard guy first. Yes, sir. Since you're the manliest, you got to run in there first. We got a bandit. Oh, wait, they're on the roof, I think. Let's go up on the roof and get them. But we will have a machine gun on our backs, though. Oh, that's true. All right, well, since you're the goddamn strategist, why don't you, you lead the way? I know where the roof is. I know where the fucking roof okay. is. Okay. We're going to fucking die out here. I can tell already. This one's not going to be a successful run. Well, I mean, they're going to die. I'm going to, of course, get out with everything like usual. But what do you see? What do your elven eyes see? 
Anything? I don't know. I don't see very much. His beard has high deflect. All right, let's go. I mean, if we don't have a machine gun on our backs, like as we can see from here, then why don't we go up on the this roof? Okay. Okay. God, the fucking the in game, like when they do a voice line, it fucking snaps me because it scares the shit out of me. All right, we're about to bust up here into some serious opposition. There. Let's grenade it. Never mind. EFP's not ours. I'm going up. Follow me. I have it on single shot. Full auto this time. <laughs> Woo. From across the roof. Ugh, caught a hit. Need any meds, buddy? No, thank you. Awesome. Dude, you've been getting tagged this whole round. Hey, did Poob resub? Is that what I heard? Hey, Poob, how you doing? Long time no see. Hey, Poob, if you want to do the, cl I have to go in like 30 minutes. If you want to do the classic fucking alley oop, uh, you can start streaming, and then I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll fucking dump all these fucking freeloaders right into your lap. If you want to do that. If you want, if you wanna, I don't read chat though, so you gotta fucking text me if that's like uh, the play here. <laughs> play multiverse? No, I'm good. Multiverses? No, I'm good. I'm gonna pick it up uh, today, probably tonight. Maybe. No, I think we're working on D and D stuff tonight because tomorrow I realized I can't work on D and D stuff. By the way, poop. If you're watching this, we're supposed to work on D and D stuff tomorrow. Can't be done. Cannot be done. I forgot tomorrow's my birthday, so I have to like go do birthday stuff tomorrow. But today, tonight, I will be free. It, it dude, it sucks when you get older. You no longer get to just like have fun on your own birthday. You have to like, you know, just like go over to my mom's house and fucking like, hey mom, how you doing? Birthday. It's birthday day. Hey. Oh, there's another cake you bought from Publix. Hey. That kind of stuff. That's the plan for tomorrow. All right, shit. Did someone just die over there? Did you hear that? Yeah. I think that's a scab though. All right, somebody push up onto that fucking roof. I, I was the first one up last time. Somebody else do it. Okay, no one than me. I would. I don't know, you've taken so much damage already. Let's go though. Oh fuck, why would he stop right there at the fucking the top of the stairs? Oh, back corner. Bad guy, over there. Oh, he's to the left. Yo, he's on the machine gun, like right next to us at the corner. Yeah, they, they shot him. Nice. We lost one of ours. 
a risk I was willing to take. Uh, which one of us died? I think that guy with, that took a lot of damage. Guy oh no. Twice. Oh well. Oh, this is another, another, you know, where's he, where's he at? Right here. Oh, no. Got to take the cool glasses. I have no car exit for each of us. Hey, this guy has an Ash 12 on him if you want it. Go for it. Slight mag pack to do for a while. Mm. Oh man. <laughs> oh no! Starts looting. Yeah. Yeah, it was a damn shame what happened to him. Man. Oh well. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. I'm getting a free drum mag out of it. That's pretty cool. Take that. Pack this one really quick and then I'll pack that one. I'm not the Raiders backpack. No, you guys don't understand. There's definitely like a there's like a, a, a cost of effort versus value out of some of this stuff. And I'm honestly not going to sit there and fucking move all my shit to a Raider backpack so I can get one extra row of space. Like it's just not worth it to me personally. To do such things. Where am I freaked? Oh, I just have a broken arm. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Sam has rejected the way of the rat. Well, I mean, like, I also kind of just have enough money in game as is. I'm not, like, starving that much. And uh, I don't really have that much room for... I mean, I don't need that much more. What does this guy have on him? Oh, wait. This guy's got a tricep. Okay. I, I might... Tricep, I think, is like two extra rows. That might be worth. Let's see. Uh-oh. I hear somebody else stomping with their boots over there. What is this? Ooh. Nice. Oh, he really had some, he had some shit on him. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Eat some croutons here. Drink a, drink a hot rod. And make some space. Perfect. Magazine full. Unload that shit right into my backpack. Damn, how many of these do I have now? Excellent. Oh, that one's completely empty? I'm not doing that. But I will take it out of here. All right, you guys ready to so go? are you taking the plague mask? No, you can take it. Oh, man. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh... Northern checkpoint? Isn't that like right around the corner? Isn't that over there? Yeah, but we should still watch out for the sniper. So I wouldn't recommend sitting I can pay for car exit. Wait, there's a car exit? Alright, let's do it. Bad guy's front. Okay. All of us. I think I have... No, I don't have any rubles on me. I didn't even know there was a car exit on this map. Oh, we're right beside the car. Where is the car exit? Do you know where that is? I've never seen it before. I think it's like down the road towards that direction. All right, take the rubles for the car exit. Let's boogie. You lead the way. Yes. Nice. Eight five five. Freak that. 
Oh, wait, what is this? What is this? Oh, just regular scab. Coming. Oh my lord, am I overweight right now? Mountains next to your building. Okay, yeah, I think it's up here to the right. Near like industrial zone gate. Ah, uh, see that looks like a car over there probably. That would be, that would make sense. Mm, fuck. Yeah, my guy's overweight as shit. I'm dying here. It's not there. Oh, it's already gone? Fuck. Okay. Uh Uh, there's a different guy. Yo, yo, it's me. Oh, Sorry. the guy that got disconnected. The guy that never came in? It's me. It was, I'm the fifth. You're the fifth? What yeah. the hell? I was the fifth. Behind you. I got disconnected at the beginning. Yo, I caught up to you guys. Let's go. <laughs> what are the odds? Come on. Come on. We got to make it to the exit. <laughs> the guy just like comes out of the the ether. Hey, what's up? I'm fucking here, guys. It's after the battle's already finished. I made it. It's fucking so odd to me. <laughs> Dude, he's not the hero. He fucking showed up. He's like a he's the goddamn he's the Walder Frey, the late Walder Frey. He shows up after the fight's over with. Dude, I'm, I'm getting such mixed signals on the haircut. There's some people that are like, oh, it's a great yeah, haircut. Yeah, my PC crashed on me. I left my laptop in the car. And there's some people that are like, oh, the haircut fucking sucks eggs. Which one is it? Straight ahead. Who for the head? Guy. He's a new guy. I was the guy that disconnected at the beginning. I'm outside to the left, by the way. When you exit the building, do not shoot me. Yeah. <laughs> Hair's extra small now, and then some people are like, haircut's booty. Haircut's straight booty. I do have less hair, that's for sure. I think we're good. I think I, uh, this this one's a success, dude. We made it all the way through. Everyone's made it. Usually we end up like losing most people. You know, so far, I mean, 100% survival rate, by the way. Uh, this is this is pretty incredible. We did lose. We did lose. We lost one person. Yeah, we lost one person. But four out of five ain't bad in this game. All right. Usually the so the survival rate in this game is pretty. Mortality rate's pretty high in this game. Yeah. Lost one, gained another. Exactly. We started it with four people and we ended it with four people. Although I will admit the reserve round we did with the shotguns, that was the most, that was like the most action packed round that I've, I've played in this game in a hot minute. <laughs> hey, at least you have a hair to cut. <laughs> oh, that's sad. That's sad. You know, while I was getting my hair cut, though, the guy that was cutting my hair was like, hey, um, you should look into getting hymns. <laughs> you should look into getting like some like some for your fucking head. <laughs> He's like, you're getting this fucking the hair is starting further and further back. Every time I go to cut your hair, it's further and further back. Yeah. <sighs> 
I said, does it actually fucking matter? Like, if I start taking hymns, am I all of a sudden going to be, like, super handsome or something? So, I, I, whatever. I don't care. Yeah. He's, uh... a. <laughs> Oh, it can cause ED? I don't get any fucking pussy anyways. I don't care. <laughs> Actually, that's the same thought process about not starting taking it anyways. Because I was like, it's not like I'm going to get more pussy if I have hair. So I'm fucking like, well, what's the point? And then and then if I take the anti-hair pills, I can't even jack off. Like, no, I'm good. <laughs> have no hair, can jack off. Have hair, can't jack off. No, nah, I'll pick jacking off every time. <laughs> I'm trying to like use my chair any other way than how I was sitting. Have you guys ever sat in a chair so long during the day that you feel like you're going to get fucking ass clots, like, like bed sores on your, on your ass. That's the fear. Okay. What, what's the, what's the final one? What should the final raid be? That was pretty successful, but what's the, what kind of, what kind of package should we roll for the final one? Hmm. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, do you guys know of the uh, that break action Mosin? I uh, it like I don't know what it's called. MP eighteen maybe. Hold on. I don't have room for all this shit. Is there a place where I can just dump this? These shotguns are too damn long. Oh, that's so close to being to working. Hold on. God damn it. What has this guy done to this to this gun? <laughs> this gun is so long. Here we go. I think that'll fit in there. Oh my god, it won't. It's not even close. I need to move this out of the way. Jesus Christ. Destroy it. Get out of my sight. All right, we got that gone. Got this gone. I'm just getting rid of some of this. Okay. All right, so now... Oh, I can't even buy it because... Okay, I have to sell more shit. Peacekeeper. Time to level you up some more. I'll sell that. I'll keep the drum mag because those are worth something for me. Come on, let me sell some stuff and then I can break down what we're going to do here. Out of my sight. Get all this out of my sight. Here we go. Okay. Now, I want you guys to go to Jaeger, right? And you buy this little thing here. It is called, it's an MP18. It's a little break action gun. Costs 16,000. This one's for the whole family. This is one anybody can afford. Doesn't matter your, your little socioeconomic group. Buy this. Put whatever rounds you want in it. I don't care at this point. Just bring some fucking Mosin rounds. I'm bringing LPSs. That's how little I give a shit about doing well with this. Uh, I'm going to bring 40 of them. I think that's more than enough. Yeah, this is... Uh, you know what? I'm not bringing that. You don't need a pistol. Right? Don't you dare bring a pistol. There was somebody that was like... Uh, when we did the, the, the blicky run, he brought like a assault rifle on his back. No. I'm talking just the break action. Nothing else. That's it. And some rounds to go in it. And uh, you might want to feed and water your guy if, like, if you guys miss. I'm assuming that, like, if I don't invite you to a round, you guys are just going in anyways. And if that happens, 
Um, I want you guys to make sure to feed and water yourself so you're not starving when you come in. All right, and this one, I feel like, God, this is such a good gun here for... No, I want to like, I, I don't want to do factory. That's a little bit too rough. I kind of want to do reserve again. I feel like reserve is such a dirt nasty map. Five people with MP18s. Here's some possibilities right there. We could do customs. Customs is good. What do you guys want to do? Reserve. Let's do it. Reserve, 13 o'clock. Make sure to insure that bad boy for 2,700. And uh, you guys start, uh, good old Texas. That's the first one coming in here. See if he's one of us. He was already here. Just inviting random people. Oh, this guy's got a scope on his. Get out of here. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know you could put a scope on them. That's insane. Get the Bussy Busta in here. You know someone with a name like Bussy Busta. That has to be. Come on. Forehead finder. You found him. Come on. There we go. Look at all of us. MP18s. One guy's actually got a, like a, a scope on his. Let's do it. It's a cheap mount from Jaeger. I didn't even know it existed. All right, I gotta stand up again. God. Uh, yeah. Woo. This has been a long day of like editing and shit. So I just feel like I've been. Fucking sitting down way too much. Can we get a dad joke? Yeah, hold on. Uh, that's so stupid. I went to a dentist funeral yesterday. I guess he filled his last cavity. Like the grave. <laughs> I confronted a mime today. He did unspeakable things. Hey, you know Orion's belt? That's a big waste of space. Oh my god, this one's so bad. I love the ones where like the answer is just like the punchline is just like a, a, a <laughs> like two words that kind of vaguely sound like another another word. Mountains aren't just funny. They're hill areas. Like, like hill areas. But hilarious. That one is so fucking bad. You have, there's no way you're going to say the punchline and someone's going to be like, oh, like hilarious, but hill areas. Like an area that's hilly is a mountain. You have to fucking, you have to explain it. The jokes that are so bad you have to explain are not. I guess that is like the perfect dad joke. Yeah. Hey guys, what kind of hair do oceans have? Wavy. The wavies answer that one. <laughs> I think this this book has ran its course, dude. I got like one more joke out of it, and this thing's going in the garbage. <laughs> I think I've done all these. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit. Hey, why do cats eat fur balls? Because they love a good gag. Is that a joke? Is that even a... <laughs> is that even a joke? I don't even think that's a joke. <laughs> it's just like a... Love a good gag? How does that equate to a hair? Like if a fur ball was like a joke of some sort, then I don't know. Pretty, that one's that one's weak. Yo. Yo, yo, let's get it. Let's let's do it. Forehead reporting for duty. Oh my God. 
All right. Uh, there's a possibility that people could spawn to our left, so keep your peepers peeped. Peepers out. Actually, let's go to the right. I was going to go underground, but we're changing direction. To the right. I, oh my god, you keep your fucking, you keep the loading screen overlay on for two seconds and these people just, ah, oh, nice screen, nice fucking, yeah, bad streamer, bad streamer. No. Hello? Yo. I'm watching, I'm watching, it's me, calm down. What are you doing over there, man? You got an MP18? What kind of gun do you have? I got two MP18s. You oh, one? one? Okay, let's go. Yeah, give me one. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Right. Take it. It's on the ground. It's on the ground. All right, come on. Uh, new guy, you go. You're the vanguard now. You go through. Where are we going? Uh, let's go yeah, through the K buildings, I guess. I don't know. I can just lead the way. I'll follow. All right, let's go. Let's go. You're the new Sam. I'm, I don't feel like fucking leading the way anymore. There's an imposter. But my hair's not small. Oh, oh, oh. tower. Tower. Oh, tower. tower. Up tower. in the tower. Anybody have grenades? Anybody got a grenade? Let's push it. Right here, Captain. All right, let's let it rip. Come on, let's go. This is, one of ours is at the base. Oh, fuck me, you got me. Get him. Fuck him. God, he fucking just took out my leg one hit. Get him. He's around the back. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Nice. Let's go, team. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I helped. I got my leg hit. I feel like there's. Seven of us now somehow. Yeah, this isn't right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I am another random. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> we grow in numbers. Hey, get up here, boy. Say hello to my legal friend. <laughs> nah. Yeah. Hey, bro. It's night. I've got a proposition. Okay. Damn it! All right. You guys want to go down to uh, see if the rogues are down under? Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's go, man. Get him, brother. Do it. Is this guy another extra? How many people do we have now? Eight? Dude, this is like everyone on the map. Jesus Christ. Let's go. Okay, it's nothing. I think that guy in the tower was the only one not with us. I didn't bring Wait, why the did ammo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> one of us died and we still have like eight people. This is astounding. Hey, I got it. Who needs... I don't know if I you can just keep reloading this indefinitely, but I'm just making sure it's not a spent casing. Yeah. The herd needs thinning. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Look how many fucking people there are. Holy god. I heard you're empty! Too bad! Mm. Lead us, oh wise one. Is it level mag drills if you keep reloading it? I don't know. That's a good. That's a question for someone that actually plays this game competitively and like pays attention to stuff like that. Uh, I'm more like, uh, you know, what I like doing is I like doing this where like I'll sit here and wait till someone runs by that's like not in team and just going like, like in voice chat and it fucking scares them. I love doing that. <laughs> it's like that's that's my that's my personal pastime. Not like figuring out if mag drills is leveled and stuff. All right, guys, up and over, up and over. Cross through the water. Come on. No one's left 
behind. Look over there. <laughs> yeah, sure. It levels shotgun, not sniper. Oh, that's lame. Hey, who's to the right? Is that not one of us? That looks like a raider. The guy just sprinting through the whole place? Is that one of us? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, dude, somebody told me you were a raider. Jesus Christ. God damn, man. God damn. They're on the power. They might spawn. You okay, buddy? Oh, God. Peeking and shooting, peeking and shooting. Uh, picking up ammo off this guy. Oh, damn. Oh, the guy that's like spamming voice lines. I thought that was a raider. I'm sorry. That's why I shot at you. I brought BT. Finally. One more. No, I'm good. I got plenty. Yeah, I'm sorry. Guy that uh, brought the, the one with the scope. I took that. I took the shit out of that. Damn, he really came in kitted out, too. I feel bad for him. That's, a, that's about as kitted as you can bring an MP18 Sam run. told me to bring nothing. I have no bag. Take a Raider bag. I didn't say bring nothing. I said bring a fucking MP18 and some bullets. That's why I told you. I didn't say you come in naked. Yeah, yeah just so bring the I come in butt ass naked. I heard it. He said bring nothing else. No, I meant like armor and stuff too. You know what I meant. Not like I didn't want you to bring like a sidearm and like a fucking machine gun on your back and everything. Sam said it, Sam said it. You know what, guys? Why don't you fuck off, all right? You guys don't know what the hell's going on. Uh, hold on. What time is it in raid? How long until that train gets here? Probably near the 14 minute mark. Okay, like, what? if you have rogues... Wait, were these rogues? These are raiders. Ra raiders? Raiders? If you have raiders, is there a chance you can also have Gluhar or no? Nah, yeah. he spawns at the beginning of the raid. I mean, like, we haven't checked so. everywhere, though. He could be at, like, train station or something. Yeah, he, he could be here. Okay, let's go Let's go yeah, we'll scrounge for him. Let's go look for him. Because we have so many people. Yeah, we're going to give him a, a look over. See what's going on. Oh, there's an airplane. See? Oh, here we go. I can't wait for the loot to disappear in seconds because seven of us are going to be losing. I don't think we have any competition player wise. Nope, straight ahead. Somebody take care of that. I'm healing up. Here it comes. There it is, right over K building. Someone running across the end of the road over there. Very end of the road. The scabs or what? I'm getting up on the roof to give it a look over. Okay. 
Yeah, yeah somebody else go first. Somebody else go yeah, first up the stairs. What if yeah. I think I think someone's gonna Some be sniping. Some big stairs here, bullet. You getting shot at? Dead. You guys want to go for it? Enough. Let's get it. Go for it. Yeah, let's go. All right, I'm running over to it. I don't think I have room for anything that's on it, but I do want to take a look. See what's inside. Oh, rat cola. Huge. Oh, oh come on, bro. <laughs> No, it wasn't me, dude. It was one of the other guys. You stay on my side, all right? We fucking together. We're the guys right, with right, scopes right, on our guns. All right. Hey, he's over that way. It was uh, it was another guy. It, it was, was one of those that, that threw way. it. Hey, man, this fucking scav. On the, on the, on the I think tower. the scav threw the that scav grenade. Did it. Yeah, the scav uh -huh. did it. Uh -huh. That shit was insane, man. Like, it landed right on us, too. Yeah, the scav must just be really. He's got a good arm. Oh, two I kills? Damn, we got two of them. Fuck. Oh, what a dead. Oh, the scav's name was General Sam. What are the odds? <laughs> yeah, that is pretty insane. Oh, the scav's name was General Sam. What are the chances? Yeah. Ooh, Vog? Damn, two Vogs? What? What happened? The scout's name know. happened to be uh, General Sam, apparently. <laughs> he didn't know anything. Don't. I don't know what Hey, now was. we're back down to five people, just as God intended. Look Let's at go. that. Let's go. And nobody's going to call my mace. Man, killed the narc. Now, he picked up... This is a... I, this one's found in raid, I think. This is a, one of those raider... Ones, yeah, this one's found and ready. Picked, he got this from the Raiders for sure. Oh, it's got BP in it too. Hell yeah. That scab oh, that fucking the scab tower. just took my fucking leg out. Oh man, this one's gonna end perfectly on time. I think. And we're gonna hop on the train, and then we're gonna um, and it'll be about like time my kids get home i can go fucking frolic around in the sunshine with them It'd be a blast what if i just turned and the fucking train was like running me over all right uh how much longer until the train do you think like 10 minutes man Oh my god, it's, tw it's yeah, only been yeah, 25? Like Fuck! We should go check the barracks for Gluhar. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We, we haven't fully cleared this place for sure. It would have been nice to do with 12 people. Nah. Dude, that guy fucked me up. Christ, was that a... Like, why did he fucking do that much damage? They were, like, lasering me. It seems out of character for a scav. Let's see. Hey. 
Where was that guy that was shooting me just a second ago? That guy was a hard ass. He's he's dead. What was he? Just a regular scav? I don't know. He was up in the tower, I think. Yeah. Wasn't he? No, no. There's one like right uh, here. Also one over here. Yeah, I think it was uh, a scav. I killed him. Oh, uh, Gexa? Yeah, it could have been, dude. Yeah, he like double bleeding everything. Hey, there's one by heating pipe over there. There's a guy over there. What is he doing? On top of the hill. Is he? I don't think he is. Oh, yeah. I don't think he's yeah. up here. I thought he went back. He's on the back side of the hill, I think. Yeah, no, I, he ran up here. Hmm. Hmm. We, we got so many footsteps going on around here. Like, my. I'm trying what to. What the fuck? He's dead. He's dead. <laughs> no, he killed a boy. Instinctively, no, I just I go no. for the Is fucking grenade Fuck. every time, just because I, I know it's one. definitely more effective. Oh man. Yeah, he, he had, he had a. Mastered. Yeah, he killed the guy with the big backpack, right? What does he have on him? Ooh. See, I keep I keep these because uh. Man, he had a full backpack. What am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Take the backpack. <laughs> hey, I took the backpack. Whoever wanted that, sorry. <laughs> what is that? A TTK? What the hell is it? A Tasmanian Tiger. Maximize that looting. I've never even seen this before. What is this thing? Is that new? Armor class six? What the hell? That's a beefy boy. That's a tier, a tier six. six. Damn. Look at this guy, he's like spying what I'm doing. He's like, it's a tier six. Don't look at my shit, all right? Pay attention to some screen peeking. <laughs> I'm watching you, Sam. <laughs> I'm watching you. I know what you have. Uh. <sighs> yeah, some dude. Yeah, he did have some nice gear. That's for sure. Stuff's weighing me down. God damn. All right, you guys want to go to the what is that place? The barracks or whatever? Not barracks. Where are they called? The broken down sign area where tech drop is. Tech room. Yeah, let's get it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, I might be a little bit too over encumbered here. Anybody want an AK 74U? Sam fell over. I'll take it. Get my energy back. Sam. Yeah. Boom. Now we're talking. Thank you. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, they say drugs are bad for you, but dude, every drug in this game is a positive, only positive side effect. There's that one that like has like a whatever percent chance of killing you or whatever, but that's, that's just a risk you take. I've seen videos of people just like walking and then they'll just like trip and hit their head at the right speed on the ground and die. So like if that's just a risk you take walking, then why not take that risk with some fucking epic drugs? You know what I'm saying? If Twitch is watching this, that was not an official endorsement. That was like, I'm joking. <laughs> I am joking. But seriously, no, <laughs> I'm joking. Right. Pull this out. And I'm talking, of course, I'm talking about in game. Like, not in real life. In game, of course. Oh, 
god Raiders gonna give me. Yeah, it's by the mark room building. Ooh, what's that? A little Tetris. Are these even worth anything anymore? Yeah, are Tetris is worth anything anymore? They're like 75k. It's not bad to, you know, to like 90k, 78k to therapist. Nice. Ooh, what's better, the John B's or the gas welders? Damn, who knows? Who the fuck found that? There's still someone out back. Is there? Someone out back? Yeah, kill him! I'm in a bush like a bitch! You ready to pop out of here? Yeah. Rat bastard. Oh my god, I'm gonna look like a fucking fool on stream. Focus, Sam. Focus. Oh my god. Hold on. Yes! Oh, I fucked up my legs. Yeah, there's a scab or something. Do you guys want to boogie down D2 or do you want to do the train? It's up to you. I don't care. Oh my god. Who's that walking down the road? Is that one of us? He ran. <laughs> no, that was that fucking bitch scab or whatever. You wanna you wanna do the bunker? Take bunker exit. We'll see if the the button spawned any more raiders, and if it didn't, we can we can take the bunker exit. Ah, fuck me! We got you. That's one of us. Where's he at? It's uh fucking under that by those cars over there. Get him? Oh yeah, he's dead. Nice. What's with all these like, wait, was he a PMC? No, 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 he was a scav. What's with all these scavs with like kind of good helmets? What the hell? The last one had a high comm striker. It's all the, uh, it's all the boys scabbing in trying to kill us now. Yeah. The ones you needed. <laughs> yeah, probably. It's probably the very same. Ah! Oh, shit. Oh, laying down on top of the connex is that no. medical. He's dead. <laughs> Holy shit, nice. I shot his body. <laughs> There's someone complaining in chat. He's like, is it really a shoot 'em up stream if you don't shoot? Oh, is he dead? Fuck. Go up in there, come on. Careful, he's up there. The train. Fucking get up!
He's in the middle K building. Oh my god, I can hear my fucking kids. My kids are rolling around out there. You can hear them running around. I don't think we're gonna have enough time to take this bunker anyway, so. Hey, where are you guys at? The train, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The train always provides. Oh, yeah. There's a scab to our back left. I heard him. I had the other character. mask. I mean, I'm not moving a whole lot. I mean, I might as well take stuff. Ash 12, why not? I mean, we're here. We're at the exit. Where's he shooting from? The top window. Third story window. Oh, fuck. Got him. Nice. Wait, do you have like an actual scope on yours? That's so badass. I stole it from that one dude. The um the guy on the hill. Oh nice. Nah, this one was mine. <laughs> oh that that one's even cooler. That one's awesome. <clears throat> By the way, I want you guys to know we started with uh eight, ended up with only three. You're the best of the best. Well, except for, Let's I mean, go. those other guys, they didn't really get to test their merits. They just kind of got grenaded at the at the airdrop, but we won't think about them. It's It only happened because they were too crazy about the loot, you know? Yeah, I saw, I, I just, war, man. they didn't really do anything wrong. I just saw that they wanted it so much that I felt like I had to snatch the rug out from under them a little bit, you know? Hell I, yeah. I didn't even end up looting it after I killed him. I was just like, I, you ever see someone want something so much and you just oh, like yeah, want shit. them to not have it? I don't think anyone looted that. We that. didn't loot that shit. No, we didn't. Well, it's because we're not greedy, you know? Yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah. We didn't want the stuff in there. We just knew they wanted it. Oh yeah, I didn't think about that. Armor no no look, armor here, this was this was not a found in raid. Someone brought this shit in. Um Yeah, this is from a raider, I think. This is found in raid. Wait, is it? Might not be found in raid. It has a little check mark, so it's good for a quest, but this might not be found in raid. It's been a pleasure, boys. Yeah, it's very good. With you guys. Awesome. Once again, 100% success rate or survival uh, rate. And some of the raids, I even ended up keeping people. They were alive the whole time. That's an astounding feat. Oh yeah, 4,000. I did kill, I killed two people. Killed two people. You said I didn't shoot nobody the whole time. Hit 12. I don't think a single hit was like actual bullets being fired. I think it was all like uh, the grenade shrapnel just cutting those guys up. Oh, hell yeah. 
All right. Oh, by the way, the uh, yeah, there were grenade kills. Is really what it was. Um, what are my pronouns? Um, he, he, him, <laughs> I guess. Yeah. He, he, him. <laughs> General Ford slash Sam? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now, yeah, now, <laughs> filthy sis. No. No. Actually, me, me and Stolt were talking about, like, you know how you can only get, like, uh, organ transplants and stuff? Like, it's easier to get them from people you're related to. We were talking about, like, how do you, how do you get a fucking scrotum when you, cause I know they can like fabricate a cock out of like other pieces of your body or whatever. They take like fat from your thigh or something like that and like give you a cock or whatever. But like the, the scrotum is such a unique piece. Like nothing else has that texture. So if they try to make like a scrotum out of like elbow skin or something like it's, it's, it's not quite going to be right, you know? Like, how do they make a scrotum? And, uh... <laughs> and so we're joking that it's like, you, if your dad dies, you can get, like, he's a perfect donor most of the time because he's your father. You just have your father's scrotum, like, <laughs> sewn on. <laughs> That'd be fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's like raisin skin. They 3D print it. Yeah, they 3D print out a scrotum and staple it on there. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yeah, the family jewels. Yeah, we also joke like, what if you get like an organ transplant from your father? You get his cock, you know, after you transition, and then like your your penis is literally the penis that made you. So it's like the weird like carrying the torch of this cock from generation to generation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't. Yeah, I don't know how they do the uh, how they do a ball sack. Somebody said the lips. I guess I I guess yeah like 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 vagina lips are kind of like this a similar skin not quite as wrinkly they don't have the walnut look that an actual scrotum has I just feel like that that's where they should divert all cosmetic research because like boob jobs and stuff like boob boob jobs are not half bad I mean there's some like killer boob jobs out there They've gotten that dialed in. There's still like vast majority of surgeons are really doing hack jobs out there. Those things end up looking like fucking insane by the time they're finished with them. Looks like some Frankenstein titties, but, um, the, uh, but I feel like definitely with the, the sex change stuff, they should, they should, they should do some more work on that. <laughs> they could do some better jobs out there for sure. <laughs> oh man oh that's legit how people are formed in the womb the sack lips are from the same thing oh okay so I guess that would get the yeah but like when uh oh okay that's a, you know what I'm gonna do I've never done this before I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna put an ice cube <laughs> up to my wife's lips and see if they turn into a walnut like balls do. You know, when you're like, when you're stepping into the pool steps and you get to that point where the water levels at your balls and your balls just go and turn into a fucking nut. I, I just don't feel like women are capable of producing the walnut skin. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Uh, oh, thanks for that. Nice haircut. You look like Elon Musk, but poor. Jesus Christ. I would... If I had Elon Musk's wealth, I don't care. I would look like the elephant man if I could have Elon Musk's wealth. Everybody makes fun of that guy, like his shirtless pics where he looks like a a weird gremlin. <laughs> he looks like a goblin getting into the, the into the boat. I would take that body as a as a 30-year-old 
You know, if I just had his like 50 year old body as a 30 year old, I would take that every day if I could have his wealth for sure. Are you kidding me? And don't even act like you wouldn't. Jesus Christ. Do you understand? And I would still, you know what the funny part is? I would do the same fucking job. Do you understand how ridiculous these streams could be? My like YouTube channel could be if I had billions of dollars. I would just have like, yeah, anyways, we're playing Tarkov today with like, uh, you know, just hire like the entire SEAL Team 6 to just like be standing in the background. <laughs> Like you just have such ridiculous money. I could spend it and, and people would be so mad too. They would be like, like you guys are fucking pissed about Hassan or whatever, buying a house. You guys have no idea how pissed you would be at me. If I had that kind of money, I would do the most stupid shit with it. I would just, I would be, Hey, today we're doing Tarkov from a helicopter. Hey, today we're just, I would just do like, we're just doing an Everest stream. And I would not actually be climbing Everest. I would just be like on the back of a strong guy and he would carry me up. Like, who's that? The, the cripple dude from Game of Thrones that just has to ride someone's back everywhere he goes. I would do that and I would just get walked up on a rickshaw up to the top of Everest. I would have an oxygen tank. I'd be sitting there with my, uh, my steam deck <laughs> playing games, do a fucking stream the whole way up. <laughs> yeah, I would do all sorts of insane things. And, uh, and you guys would be so fucking mad. Everybody would be so mad about it. I would do like nice stuff. I would, I would, you know, after I'd be finished with streams or whatever, I would give like my props or whatever to Goodwill or something like that. <laughs> That'd be the extent of my philanthropy would be giving, giving extra props to Goodwill. <laughs> I would, I would, uh, I would dump like you know, like $75,000 a year or something like that into, into scrotum research, like a very, like a 0.001% of my net worth into scrotum research <laughs> for sex changes so they can get the scrotum skin down. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I would just think about that. Like think, cause a lot of, a lot of these streamers and stuff, and a lot of YouTubers, the vast majority of them are inhibited by like a capital, like they can't, well, a lot of them don't have the ambition to do crazy stuff with money, but like once you have like your, your family and your kids, like their future covered, oh man, the shit you could do, you could do the wildest shit because like the bar is so low for streams. Like I put zero effort into what you just watched and it was still like better than 85% uh, just doing this right here. That right there is better than 85% of streamers. Because most streamers are just this. I, I, probably 90% of streams are just this. And they, uh, they have crackly mic. They, uh, mic sounds like dog shit. Mic sounds like, hey. Uh, uh, wait. Hey, Han, what's a, there we go. Uh, hey, guys. Uh, thanks for coming to the stream. I'll be down in a minute. Hold on. I got a viewer. And if you just improve it a little bit by just like adding a cam, you're better than like most people. And then once you're at that level, all you have to do is like talk a little bit <laughs> and you're better than the remaining, you know, whatever percentage. So it doesn't take much to get up into like the top 5% of streamers. But then once you're at that level, all those people are just, they're just restrained by the fact that they don't have like insane expendable income. The only reason Mr. Beast is at the level he's at now is because he did a full dump of like every bit of money he earned from YouTube. He just back into YouTube, back into YouTube, made it big with these like great video ideas. But I think everybody here, no offense, Mr. Beast, if, if you ever see this clip, uh, because I believe what you've done is really important for the platform. And I think the ideas are great. But I think everybody would rather watch those same videos done by like a different person. <laughs> like a completely different person. Like like someone funny or something. That would be awesome. Or like someone cool. 
And if if we could have like that, that would be awesome. <laughs> if, if like there was actually someone cool doing those videos, that would be insane. And so, dude, imagine just being able to do, you know, and not giving a fuck about the ad revenue. Because like Mr. Beast, like he sets up these great things, these awesome theatrical performances and stuff, but he still cares about getting ads on them. You know, he still gives a shit about them being marketable to people. But imagine like like a Sam Hyde level of care about like what YouTube thinks, but with Mr. Beast money. That would be intense. That would be that would be intense. Yeah. That would be legendary. But anyways. Uh, thank God landmarks on soapbox Sam. Yeah, I kind of, I got you guys by the balls right now. So I'm just talking. Let's see here. Let me find, is Poob even streaming? Let's see if he's streaming. Nope, not streaming. I guess we're going to raid. Hmm. Let's see. Do I raid Aqua, longtime friend, or do I raid someone who needs it? Sturdecky. I guess I'll, I'll raid Aqua just because I haven't seen him in a hot minute. And I feel like here we go. Let's see Aqua FPS. All right, we're gonna raid Aqua. If you guys don't know about him, he's everybody knows about him. Aqua FPS. Everybody go in there and give him a big fucking thumbs up and a big like happy smile or whatever. Yeah. It's Aqua. You guys know him. If you watch this thing, you know who he is. All right. Later.